Hello, good evening, happy Sunday. <laughs> Welcome to a foundation stream. This is the first time I've ever streamed anything that's not City Skylines. <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, but I absolutely freaking love this game. So I think it's a good opportunity to share you guys with it and see what you think. Get some of you involved on the foundation train. <laughs> so yeah, how are we all? How are we all? Who have we got? Miss Waldo, for you playing one of my absolute favourite games on a live stream tonight, cannot wait. Eee! I'm glad we've got some more foundation fans in the house. <laughs> Lovely to hear. White Walker, hello, welcome in. Ben, Edward, Star, Brad, <laughs> welcome in everyone. Franklin as well. And and Katie, hello. No miss, hello. Wow. Wow, thank you all for turning up. Hope you're having a good Sunday, ready for a little bit of foundation and chill tonight. <laughs> Ragnarok, welcome in, welcome in to... Right, let's kick it off. Yeah, so we're just gonna, we're gonna start a new game. Um, and actually one of the coolest things about this game, and I'll try and like sort of talk it through for those that haven't seen it before. Um, so it may be a little bit slow for those who have. <laughs> Governor, hello, welcome in, good evening. Um, we're just, yeah, we're going to start a new game. One of the coolest things is this map creator, which, like, honestly, we're going to talk cities. I wish they'd introduce into <laughs> cities. It would have been a great way to do it. Exy, hello. Welcome in. I have seen this game played years ago. I don't remember much. It has changed so much in years, Franklin, so much. Like, I got it pretty soon after it came into early access, and it's still an early access game, so they make constant updates to it. It has changed so much since I first played it. Like, it's so good. It's so good now. Like, really, really good quality of life improvements. Rene, welcome in. Hello, hello. Um, so, yeah, let's go. Create a map. So we can choose, like, one of the original maps. Um, and some of the terrain on those are, like, pretty bad. <laughs> I won't lie. I think Mountain and Valley were added in later on. But, like, the coastal map, it's pretty crazy. But we can create our own map. We can choose our own theme. So if we want, like, sort of riverlands, coastal, or just hills, we can do that. And then within that as well, so let's go fl fluvial, if that's how we say it. <laughs> that's what we're going to do. We can randomise it. So we can just, you know, randomise what the map looks like. It's sort of almost procedurally generated. And then within that as well, once we find a kind of general design we like, so... Uh, that's quite a big river. Let's go, for, let's go for this one, for example. We can change this so we can make the river, like, super big. You have to tell me as well if the game balance is all right. <laughs> I've no idea on foundation. Um, we can add lakes, so we can add more lakes and kind of change the dial on this. Um, so yeah, we can kind of shape it how we want, add islands. So I quite like the idea of an island. I think we'll keep the river relatively small, actually. Let's have, yeah, let's have a nice big island in the middle. And you'll see as you kind of change the dial, it changes the position or how many. So you can sort of really, really customise your maps in that sense. A cliffs, I don't want too many of. I kind of prefer to play with slightly less cliffs because it makes it a little bit easier, I won't lie. <laughs> oh, Overcharged Egg, welcome in. Very cool to see a Foundation stream. Very underrated game. I know, I loved your series on Foundation. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely loved it. I played it for not that many hours, actually, I think, before you did that series, but I've recently become heavily addicted to it again. Oh my god, Edward Bickford with five Q Candy memberships gifted. Thank you so much, Edward. So generous. Um, Rose, hello, welcome in. Yeah, very generous as always, uh, Edward. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Exy's got another one. Rene, Katie, Ben, enjoy. Enjoy, everyone. Raptor played it. I watch him when he plays interesting to me games. He has, he has don't cities at times. Not sure what you mean by that, Franklin, but yeah, Raptors played it. Yeah, there's some like big people who've played it, but I think it's massively underrated. Like it really is so so good. Yeah, promontory, prom promontory. <laughs> However you say it, kind of means like having a little area that's sort of raised, as as you would expect from that. So I think we want one of those, like a little bit of one. So you can see that's probably here. That kind of looks pretty decent to me. And then we can choose like how many slopes or hills we want in it. I think we'll go for a little bit of slope. Why not? Um, yeah, so that kind of looks okay to me. And of course, yeah, you can change all of these things. It's just the fantastic map editor, like really, really fantastic. Brad, 15 months of membership, holy moly. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support. That pink badge there, you're well on your way to getting the gold badge, I think it is. Thank you so much, really appreciate that. Claire, welcome in as well. Um, and Poplar Ponderosa, welcome in. I love this game. So calm and relaxing until late game build gets overwhelming. Yeah, it gets a, bit, a little bit mad at late game, doesn't it? <laughs> but it's um, it's it's so much fun. Hope Foundation has Bob. 
No, no, miss. <laughs> no, Bob. But we can customise it so much. Like, you'll see, I've got a whole bunch of mobs. Like, mod, mobs? Mods. So you see here, like, I'm using quite a few mods. And some of them, so a big thing in this game is the sort of... Um, you basically zone in a residential area and the houses spawn in at random but can, can be pretty jarring to be honest sometimes they all spawn where you don't want them to spawn so i've got various different mods here so like house, house expansion set um i think i've got three of them residential area uh and house additions as well all of those mean you can plop your residential houses so we basically don't need bob because we can add our own uh props to it and stuff like that so yeah let's start the game let's get on with it Riley, hello, welcome in. Uh, but yeah, we do miss Bob. We do miss Bob. <laughs> we could probably name one of the characters Bob if we want to, so that, you know, we've got a bit of Bob in our foundation life. Grey, welcome in, hello. Um, yeah, here we go. So a new beginning. Um, I'm going to turn off advice. <laughs> if you've got any questions on the game, put them in chat and I will do my best to try and read as much as chat as possible whilst also still trying to uh, build our village town here so yeah this is the map like it has a kind of cute little sort of it, it, it's a little bit cartoony obviously compared to like <laughs> city skylines if you want to call it that but it's such a cute vibe like i really i really rate it i really rate it and some of the houses like are really cool really well detailed so you can see actually on our promenade here we've now got ore mines so we can mine these for resources but we have to first find out what resources are there all very exciting we've got various different start squares that we can hit and all of these start squares have berries and stone in them because they are two resources that you need right from the offset and trees of course as well we're going to need to fell a load of trees to get our wood <laughs> Um, but we'll come on to that. So yeah, we can pick any of these different start areas. Um, and I think originally when the game came out, they were all kind of very sort of, was it hexagonal or kind of a uniform shape? Um, that's all changed now. So it's all like fluid with these like map creators that we have. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. We've got a nice load of flat land, which is kind of helpful in this map. But we've got some nice hills in the background as well. Quite enjoying that. But yeah, the tricky thing is deciding where to start. I think we'll leave the island for the moment. I'm kind of thinking somewhere slightly further out, maybe with a bit of water so we can get into fishing nice and early. Not sure. Plop. Yeah, exactly. Plop. <laughs> SK, welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you all so much for turning up. 54 of you. I was not expecting that for foundation. Like, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, yeah, like I said, I absolutely freaking love this game. So I really wanted to share it with you all. Uh, we could go over here potentially i'm thinking one of these three here perhaps even this one right in the middle we could create a nice little wooded area here a little berry farm stone i'll probably move the stone actually i've got some mods on one in particular called aladdin's lamp which means that we can move a lot of our resources and our town center and things if we want to which is kind of handy for anyone who has played this game you'll know that um yeah i think we'll go for this one we've got a slight little slope here which might make it interesting this one has less trees in it though and we do get a free one hmm, afterwards oh it's tempting <laughs> maybe we go for this one and actually we'll choose one with slightly more trees in as our free one i'm very indecisive about this and i know i need to make a decision and get on with it <laughs> uh let's let's go for this one let's go for my original thought so here we go we've got our starting area and the first thing we need to do is build a village center now i can move this because i've got a mod so i'm not too concerned with where it is right now but this is where all new villagers to your town will come and will spawn in or not spawn in well, they walk into the actual map they don't just randomly spawn but they'll congregate here when they want to join your village so it needs to be in quite an important place. I don't want it too close to the berry farm. I'm thinking right down in this corner and we'll clear some of these trees down here. So yeah, let's place it here for now. And then we can choose the difficulty settings. I'm just going to go for normal. <laughs> I'm not going to beat the bush about it. Um, it basically means that it kind of you can make it difficult. So it's extra hard to get resources and things cost loads more, or that sort of thing. Or you can make it easy on yourself and go fully creative if you want to be and basically not worry about any resources like this here we could choose to have a huge amount of resources to start with which is basically creative mode <laughs> which is kind of cool 
but we're gonna go with no we're gonna actually play the game and we start off with 10 villagers so here they are in the center and they're kind of like quirky and cute <laughs> yeah, i quite like them we can name them as well so shout out if you want a little village named after you we can have some fun tracking their jobs and that sort of thing i think we'll give them jobs first and then we'll decide who they're going to be named after um tom com hello welcome in damir hello hello um jacob hello oh so many of you thank you so much Goes to water because you'll need uh, two sources of food right from the start. Yeah, exactly, exactly that. So I'm thinking now that we've got our town centre, we can get another territory and we get it for free. So I'm thinking we do this one, which gives us access to water. So let's do that. And then we can put fish down here, basically. We could move our town centre now. Actually, it's right in the corner. That was a bit of a mistake. <laughs> I might do that. We're actually going to move it right from the offset. So I'm going to go into mods and Aladdin's lamp, although... Hmm, we have to place a lamp for this. <laughs> so we're going to want to be fairly strategic in its placement. I think let's place it over by the berry fields and then we can hide it in a bush. Um, and then we're going to say, we're going to go down here and we're going to say move village centre and I'm going to move it, I think, quite close to the water. I think would be quite nice. So let's go here. So now we've got our village centre here. I could have just started off with this and done it the other way around, actually thinking about it, but never mind. <laughs> I like to take the long route, as many of you will know. Uh, Rene, oh my goodness, with a five Canadian dollar super chat. Thank you so much. New game inspiration. Yay, yay. Yes, yeah, get on the foundation train. Like, yeah, super cool game. It's not like it's in early access still, so it's not super expensive. You could use my instant gaming link as well if you want to get a little discount on it. Um, yeah, it's super fun. Super fun. I can't recommend it enough. And yeah, coolest thing ever. Kind of, they, they do, what's it called? Desire lines. So basically wherever the villagers walk it starts to form paths so you can see here like it's forming a path and here where all these 10 villagers have walked that's now like a hard path but we can change that we can direct them by using fences and stuff like that so we will do that but anyway let's <laughs> let's actually get some resources in and get started so there's a few things we do need to start off with we need a builder's workshop before we pretty much do anything else so i'm going to place this actually we're going to start kind of building quite far up here i think so i think i'm going to place it where we put our old village center for the moment so let's put it let's put it on the side here like that we can worry about the trees in a second now we need wood very importantly right from the offset and you kind of want to be careful what you're building because you only have 25 tools to start so yeah you don't want to rush into it let's say that um i'm gonna create a bit of a kind of wood camp i think up here conscious it's a little bit slopey but let's put in our lumber camp and we'll get that building now what i do need to do uh we'll actually accept these villagers while we're at it as well because we're going to want them we need to click on the builders workshop and assign some vill uh, villagers yeah to the builder r role job <laughs> whatever you want to call it so let's do that we'll have three villagers on builders because we need lots of things built to start off with so it's best to kind of max maximize that out i think I'm just remembering the eye stairs from Egg's playthrough. Oh yeah, there's like some creepy, creepy eye stairs. Let's go ahead and take a little look. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, they're funny little characters. Well, they get a little bit blurry if you get too close, but there we go. Yeah, hand on hip. Got a bit of attitude as well. <laughs> there are some mods to kind of diversify the villagers as well, so you get more sort of variations in it, which is super fun. A red November, hello, welcome in, welcome in. The eyes are like they all have a very serious constipation. <laughs> yes. What does the lamp do you, uh, do you place a minute ago? What does it do? Um, so this is a mod called Aladdin's Lamp. Um, it's a little bit of a kind of cheaty mod, but I don't really use it. I don't, well, I do cheat a little bit, I suppose. But um, essentially what you can do with it is you can add in infinite resources <laughs> if you want to, or Splendor, for example, if you want to, which is something I'll kind of explain as we go. But you have Splendor against three different... Um, uh, I can't remember what they're called now. Camps, whatever, Labour, Kingdom and Clergy. So we can like focus on having a military, for example, and please the Kingdom. Um, uh, what, what are they called? I'm actually like forgetting the paths estates that's it estates thank you the kingdom estate or we can have a big monastery and monks and nuns and that sort of thing um and please the clergy estate or we can go for labor and have things like taverns <laughs> and focus on like tax collecting and that sort of thing 
um, which is all kind of in labour. But you can do all three as well, so I tend to do that. So that gives you ultimate, like a basically unlimited splendour. Um, the main reason I use it, so you can plop houses and weird things in there as well. The main reason, reason I use it is because I like to place fewer different berry bushes. <laughs> uh, so we're actually going to make this into a little berry farm over here. Um, so I'm actually, I think we'll place one, I'm going to put a bush over the lamp to hide it because I can't stand it. But yeah, we can place some additional berry bushes in, which is kind of useful because there's not like huge amounts on the map. You can see there's like one random one sort of dotted around everywhere. So I like to do this just to create the aesthetic of a berry farm. We can also move berries and stone if we want to. Um, so that's really useful. But one of the most useful things that I use it for is removing trees. So like here, if I just place in a bunch of these, instead of having to have a lumber camp which chops down all of the trees over time, you can do that and it removes your trees for you. So that's like the reason I use it really. Is this the simulation for me? I don't, well, I don't know. I'm a charged egg. Yeah, if the simulation is not for you, this game probably isn't for you. <laughs> um abc hello welcome in i watched a couple of let's play videos to get the gist for foundation excellent well there we go your experience um yeah i love it love it chuck berry farms <laughs> i like that well we do need to oh yeah okay we do need to name our village and the lords i mean i'm gonna go for lady lady few because why not but we need a name for the village so i'll take some suggestions for that tim welcome in hello um, but let's get a little bit more built, shall we? <laughs> Otherwise I'm in danger of not doing anything on this stream. Um, what am I doing? I need food production. So yeah, these gathering huts are for the berries. So what I'm going to do is create a little area here where we're going to start getting berries. I've just realised our lumber camp is probably built. Uh, let's let's place two of them over here like this. Uh, maybe a little bit further away like that. Um, I'm not going to use both of them at first, but again, it's kind of for aesthetics and they don't use tools to build, so I'm kind of not too worried about it. And then I'm actually going to get a little fence. I think we'll get, a, we'll get a wooden fence for this. And we're going to sort of turn this into a little area. Uh, now I do want to just go on here and put construction preview so I can see where those houses are. Well, not the houses, the gathering huts. And then we can create a little bit of a fenced area like this around the berries we'll leave some trees in it as well and what this means is that our villagers aren't going to walk through this fence so when they create their own paths they'll actually walk in through here to get into the berry areas which is kind of cool so that's pretty useful really um that has not been built yet so we'll wait on that the other thing we do need to do for wood and for stone and for berries in fact so let's do that before we forget is create an extraction area so that's what I'd like to do here, is create a bit of a forestry area. And we'll leave this path that they're sort of generating coming in here. I'd like to use as much of the natural paths as possible when we come in. So, we'll, yeah, we'll just highlight the wood that we want to harvest, essentially, in this corner here. Probably don't need to make it this big, actually. So we'll probably cut it off about there. Because we'll keep this going. I'm basically going to leave this in the game for pretty much the entire time. Um, so let's have reforestation over it as well because we'll have a forester's hut which is going to plant more trees in the area as the lumber camp cuts them down so we basically never run out of wood <laughs> essentially well we will run out of wood because that's just how the game works but um, <laughs> uh, it should do us pretty well for quite a long time at least so I'll create that forestry area like that and then I do want to come in and put in a not that it is resources a forester camp Let's go ahead and place that and we'll just place this nicely in the trees sort of next to the lumber camp build that and then we also want to turn our wood into planks so we're going to place in a sawmill all in the same place because this kind of helps logistically if the wood is coming from the lumber camp straight into the sawmill it very much helps um i do think though that we need i think actually they don't go straight from the lumber camp to the sawmill it needs to go to a warehouse so that's something that we'll need to unlock in common path let's go ahead and do that and i'm also going to do house expansion set so we can plop some houses in and decorative because i like that and <laughs> we'll come back to the others in a second um but there we go so we'll have this kind of in our little forested area here let's actually just bring the forest slightly closer to our sawmill We'll cut it back a little bit behind those but keep it all kind of nicely enclosed in this little camp area 
I'm actually going to extend it down like that. We'll cut it back a bit here. So let's just change that extraction zone as well. Extraction zone doesn't need to go over the whole forest zone, just kind of within it generally is absolutely fine. Uh, not deleting it. So yeah, something like that. And we will add in a warehouse here too. Um, I'm actually going to delete the warehouse for a modded warehouse <laughs> once we unlock that, but we do we don't get it until we're kind of further up in prosperity. So getting things like money, population, beautification as well. So detailing counts to progression in this game. Yes, please. Not to rip off overcharge tag, but that's a very exciting <laughs> fact. Um, but there we go. So yeah, logistics we want. Do I unlock the warehouse? Yeah, we did. It's in logistics, not in the menu I was looking at. So we're just going to place this in here for now. And we'll get them building on that. Let's actually go up three speed so we get things moving a little quicker. Now we do have this built, so I'm going to assign a worker to it. So we'll just do, I think we'll do two workers for the moment. And we've also got a berry hut, so we need to start getting in food. So I'm going to have two people on that for the moment too now the reason why i'm not putting everyone on everything is because i will put them on the things that are still building <laughs> i need to spread my workers a little bit thin <laughs> call it few brie as there's only a few berries oh i like that i like that mateo hello welcome in welcome in um few i like that nice one love that yes everyone's agreeing with that yes Yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness, there's 89 of you I've just spotted. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. She's in the zone again. I'm sorry, Franklin. I'm sorry. I do get into the zone. I'm very conscious I want to actually progress in this game a little bit tonight. So I still have nightmares of going to Primark in London. We talk about... Pri oh, was, oh, was this Karina? Yeah. <laughs> Rookie decision going on a Saturday. Primark cannot be fun on a Saturday. I will definitely give you that. Okay, we're going to go for Fubri. Thanks to Brad <laughs> for the wonderful name love that just a few berries just a few berries that's all we got at the moment um right i do also want to start getting stone which is going to be quite important too so let's go back to resource production we'll get a stone cutter camp now i'm probably going to move this i think closer to these mines to create a bit of a sort of mining area aesthetically but for now let's just build that in here um and i'm actually going to prioritize that so we can click this button here just to make sure our builders go to this before really anything else. And also the warehouse, because we are going to want that. So we'll do that. Um, and yeah, we kind of just sit back and wait a little bit now. I do need to get some housing in, because you'll see here, happiness. They're really, really not happy. <laughs> well, my legal team would be in touch with due course. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, everyone needs to hit the thumbs up. Thank you, Riley. Yes, if you enjoy this, please do hit the thumbs up. It's very much appreciated. <laughs> looks like brad and i are going for gold just a reminder that likes and comments are always appreciated edward 17 months holy moly you are definitely going for gold <laughs> definitely go for gold thank you so much thank you so much and yeah appreciate the reminder to like and comment if you do enjoy the stream or if you don't as well you know you could just hit the like button <laughs> just say all oh, the dislike hit the dislike Pilot, hello, welcome in. Just on the train to work, we wanted to say hello. We'll try and watch the VOD. No worries, Pilot. I hope the train ride is all right for you. Thank you for popping in. Um, right. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, right. Let's get some. Let's get some houses in. Oh, our stone cutter camp's built, so let's put a villager on that. We've got four villagers unemployed. I do want a forester as well, so I'm going to do that. Now, <laughs> I've got mods on. Now, I don't really want the big kind of hard on your gpu modded tree <laughs> spamming in this forest area so i'm going to turn off all of those but yeah this is the other cool thing like i really wish cities would take account of some of these game mechanics because it's super cool we can say what type of tree we want them to plant in this area so i'm i'm going to turn off pine i know that this isn't <laughs> the same in cities but there's some really cool mechanics in it which i think would translate really well yeah i don't want pines there just aren't pines on this map so it kind of looks odd when they plant them so i'll just have oak poplar and sycamore that'll be absolutely fine there and we have got a forester assigned to that so that's all good um oh i have not put on an extraction zone around our little stone mine so let's do that so they can start collecting stone we really really need that have we run out of planks oh <laughs> I've actually like failed at the first footing. I actually think I might have done. Wait, they're getting stone. I'm not sure if they're gonna transfer. 
It should be alright. I've done this before. We should be fine. We should be fine. We might have actually just failed at the first hurdle. Oh man. I can use a ladder and slam. <laughs> if we have. Oh god. Primark is like Walmart in USA. Uh, it's clothing only, Riley. Um, it's like, I don't know what the USA equivalent would be. Yeah, as does Asda, Asda basically is Walmart, yeah, in the UK. I think they're even owned by Walmart, aren't they? Or they used to be at least. Um, yeah, Prim Primark is something else. <laughs> it's like very cheap clothing, but, but kind of nice actually as well, I would say. But yeah, very kind of popular clothes store in the UK at least. I don't know if, if it's global or how much it is global. Um, yeah, let's pop in some houses. Let's pop in some houses. So I think we'll go for the house expansion set for this. Now, I think I'd like some kind of farmhouses next to our berry farm that we have going on here. Um, so let's go for surf. So surfs are what our villagers start off at. They come in as a surf and you can promote them up to commoner and citizen and kind of through the chain, basically, as they get better jobs and then they'll want more as well. So at the start, they just want water, food, food housing i haven't put a well in either <laughs> service which is a church essentially um and fuel because i've got a mod on for fuel as well which is kind of fun to play with but we'll come on to that so yeah let's get a house in um and here yeah this is the best part <laughs> about modding it is we don't have to like procedurally generate the houses in random places essentially um we can kind of choose the house that we're putting in and plop it in where we want to which i always think is uh very cool so this is going to give us six residences here, which is quite nice, I'd say. Um, I think we can put another one next to it. Let's go for a similar style, but slightly different looking house. So we'll go for that. So let's build those to start off with. And again, like, I want to make sure that they're sort of walking in sensibly. In fact, actually, let's get Aladdin's lamp quickly. And just to save ourselves, remove couple of these trees let's remove that one as well like that wonderful that tree is quite close to the house there but that's all right and we're going to get our fences and we're just going to put in yeah a nice little bit of kind of essentially i don't know what you'd call it what do you call it a dry i was going to say a driveway <laughs> Not a pathway up to the houses just to help them like sit in really nicely and the paths again like look it's like built in move it oh yes <laughs> yes oh i just love i love it i really love this game um yeah let's extend this path on up through the middle so we get a bit of separation between those houses too that's sort of one side of the tree so that's all right um yeah i think that's okay oh oh i moved it i moved it and now i've deleted it right there we go yeah that's not too bad and then yeah they'll walk up these little pathways essentially to get into their house so again we're just kind of controlling where those pathway pathways generate in and around our village which would be quite nice now are we actually having problems over here <laughs> i'm not i'm not sure wait they're taking resources to here we haven't got any planks yet though because we don't have the oh i may have screwed it up <laughs> we have screwed it up let's uh uh we may have to restart literally like on the on the actual stream um i don't want infinite gold or splendor infinite resources yeah i don't want that yeah so we can't really just give ourselves <laughs> some planks <laughs> uh yeah that was a bit of a mistake then we are getting stone delivered to here so that's fine so we could we should be able to get stone Let's uh let's prioritise this because we need that and we'll take it off the warehouse and hope that they get the stone to here a little bit quicker because that's now filling up so we should be able to get our sawmill and then we'll be able to get our warehouse so we'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's all good. Uh, kiss in, welcome in. Should probably do a living room account so we can leave likes. Oh, <laughs> Oh, just, just, just stop by to say thank you for all your lovely videos. I'm usually one of those non-subscribers that's watching since I mainly watch on the living room PC and it's not signed into any account. Oh, no! Uh, sign into account. <laughs> sign into an account. But no, I appreciate it. I, I, that doesn't matter. Subscribers don't really mean anything. It's the views and the love and then the popping into a live stream that counts. So I really appreciate it. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. 
um, a few candy. Can you use the lamp to fix it? Yeah, no. Well, I, not without getting infinite resources, which I don't really want to do. So we're all good, though. We're all good. <laughs> I think I'm losing my mind because I'm on a stream. <laughs> I was going to say, I've done this a thousand times exactly like this, and it's fine. So we're all good. Um, the other thing we do need, of course, because our villagers are very unhappy right now, is water, fuel food and fuel now we've got the berries coming in here so they're stocking up nicely so we do want to get a granary to store those in but we also need a little market stool somewhere so i'm thinking probably somewhere about here we're gonna do that um so let's go into logistics and we'll plop a little market stool so we'll go for a market table for this and then gonna sell berries right on this corner i'm going to leave it undecorated for now but you can add in cute little decorations if you want to but we'll come back and do that once we've built a little bit more around it is the way that i sort of prefer to do it so we'll just build this yes um and then i might actually add a, a, a sub building because we need to get fuel which is just wood so we're just going to use the fuel mongers cart for wood here and i think we'll plop this in right next to it so we've got a little sort of retail corner, if you like, <laughs> here. And then hopefully I'll have a pathway up here once we build some buildings here. We'll kind of encourage the villagers to go this way. So this will be positioned essentially on a corner. So it won't look quite as odd as it does right now. But let's get those in. And we'll want to assign villagers to those too once we get that. Are we all Yes, we're getting it. It's all good. We don't need to restart. We're fine. I panicked. <laughs> it's all good. I'd be scared if someone was naked in Primark. I'm not sure what I've missed there. <laughs> Walkway where they can park themselves, or is that just a lawn chair? Oh, is this what you? Is that what you're talking about? These? <laughs> I don't know. What would it? Yeah, pathway up to your house. It's not like a driveway, but it's not a driveway, is it? I don't, I don't know if there's like a specific a specific name for it. Yeah, egg ahoy too. Egg's gonna be in the news. I've totally missed it. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh you think there's a primark in brooklyn new york that's interesting actually there we go old navy isn't old navy quite nice though i'm not sure <laughs> i'm not sure um right we are going to want some more housing in so i'm probably going to want some housing in around our little forest area up here too um let's actually just go to visibility we're going to turn on zoning areas just so i can see where it is i'm going to put some fencing around it again just for decoration because I like to. Um, so we're going to sort of box this in. There's a bit of a forest area around here just so we know exactly where it is. I'm going to leave the fence sort of open there. And then we'll do the same thing this side. So we'll come down from there. Let's do some nice little angles on our fence and then yeah we'll have this coming up a little bit into our little forest woodland complex I think. There we go um so yeah it's starting to come together we are on three speed are we we're getting there <laughs> we're getting there slowly but surely we probably need more stone that's that's why let's just plow a couple more people into stone mining we'll do that we st we've only got one villager unemployed now though and we are gonna need some more so i need to keep my eye out for people arriving here because i'm not very good at that and i also have my game value turned out really low so there we go you could say the foundations of the previously stable chat are breaking. <laughs> dun dun dun. Yes, well done, Ben. <laughs> Old Navy is cheap, Gap. Great for kids' clothes. Okay, there we go. Old Navy is inexpensive fashion that needs to be replaced often. That's that's Primark. That's Primark. Yeah, I'll say that is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else we got makes for a fun evening for me when few candy is streaming i know the chat is going to be good oh yeah you carry on i was going to say i just saw overcharge egg says he feels like he's derailing the chat you guys carry on you just carry on. <laughs> you guys carry on and i'll try and actually do some building for you tonight there we go stream flipping this morning yes brad yeah it must be super early for you again again what do you say i started at 6 a.m oof oof brad was that mine when she said cloud <laughs> <laughs> oh dear claire oh dear right anyway i was gonna get a house in at some point oh yeah look okay we've got our market still right let's definitely get on a market worker for here we're gonna have fuel in there can we we can't get two yet can we we haven't got any villagers 
No. Everyone's going to hate moving in here because everyone's so unhappy as well. <laughs> yeah, I've probably, I've probably botched up the start a little bit. We're going to have a very slow start, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, right, we do need a well. We need water. Um, wells we're going to want all over. I'm just wondering if we make this into a little corner bit. We could have a well on the corner as well. Why not? And again, I've kind of I've got mods here, so we've got some different varieties of wells. This is the standard well that you get with the game. We also have this little one, which is kind of cool, and this one, which I really like as well. Um, but I think we'll just go for the standard one for our first well coming in here. So let's plop that in. Yeah, let's plop that in there. Um, I really want these houses to build so we could do some backyard detailing. <laughs> Come on to that. Okay, now I don't have a carpenter, so I'm actually going to you. Leo Venath. I'm not going to be a forester anymore and you are going to be a carpenter. We're going to reassign a few people. We've still got three builders haven't we? We are getting planks now so that's all good. I need more carpenters to get our planks up so let's actually take Herden off this as well and you can also be, yeah there we go, a carpenter. So we'll just reassign their jobs quickly so we can get that in. And we, yeah, we need, the, we need the housing to grow. So we don't have quite such a big problem. Um, let's plot in some more while we're at it. So we can kind of get the builders busy as soon as they're done with these ones. So yeah, let's have a slightly different style of housing over here. And they've got two doorways as well, which I like need to pay attention to. Sometimes when you re-click them, they change. Yeah, I like this one. This one's very cute. Let's have this slightly closer to the road out there and we'll go for another one of a similar style oh we could even oh we could even and this is the cool thing about this game right you can snap it in so when you're creating like rows of buildings you can snap it in you can move it around different angles or you can turn snapping off and you could like fully fuse buildings together to create awesome stuff like we're not going to get onto any of that kind of crazy stuff tonight unfortunately because there's just not enough time but there's a lot to be said from that function and things like the stone gate set um things like the monastery build as well which is all part of the actual game without any mods um the manor house all things like that you can go crazy with um the amount of sort of flexibility you have in building them like it's super 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 cool so yeah let's build those and i'm also going to go back to fencing again and i'm just going to like dictate where <laughs> our people are going to walk so let's create we want a bit of a corner here don't we so let's create a little bit of an area around these guys and what we could do in the backyard of one of these houses is add in a chicken farm or something like that which could be kind of fun we'll go yeah let's go something along these lines do we want a do we want a fence in the middle of them we could do yeah let's draw that out to the back there probably want to clear some of those trees i think yeah that's all right let's actually add to this fence here and bring that back into the house again there's no like as anarchy is on permanently there's no collision in this game it's awesome i'll see you brad you off brad back soon oh yeah back soon right sorry i didn't <laughs> i didn't quite love it see you brad um is this one farm stream? This is a one farm stream, <laughs> Franklin, yes. Oh look, we've got new people coming in. Yay, I don't want to miss them. Um, it is a one farm stream. Actually, no, actually no, we're gonna have many farms <laughs> in this world. Because we're gonna need loads to set us up. So yeah, we'll have a variety of different farms for sure. Let's accept our new villager and you are gonna go on the market because we need that desperately. We need someone to start selling our fuel from here. Um, we do need the granary and we really need this that is uh that's getting there so that's fine oh we've oh god sorry pressing the camera controls we've got a house built <laughs> yay um so we can do while we're waiting for a bit of building i think now we could do a little bit of decorating so i've got this mod again like i would say the the, the best way to play this is definitely modded like the base game has a lot to it don't get me wrong there are decorations and details and things like that but the modded game it's freaking cool um so actually let's uh let's cancel that a second let's go to aladdin's lamp i'm just gonna clear a couple of these trees here as well 
So let's just clear those two out at the back here. Um, and what I'm going to do is, yeah, use the fancy decorations mod to do some nice detailing around this house. So there's like loads of cool little props we can add to this. We can add a little cart horse wheel outside the front here. Again, like anarchy is built into the game, so you can put whatever you want. Let's actually, is this too far? Oh no, it's all right. Let's actually put a little cooking pot outside the front of this one, because why not? Um... There's also a cart, which I quite like. I think we'll have this out the back of this house. Is there enough room to take the cart around the side? Might be a bit tight. Let's maybe leave the cart then. Let's have... There is some cool stuff further down. For wood chopping, yeah. This stump with an axe. Now the villagers actually come up and use this. This is a functional prop, people. <laughs> which yeah i get quite excited about so yeah let's put this in and we'll have a little sort of wood chopping fire chopping area out the back here which should look pretty cool i think let's have some little piles of firewood maybe a couple of little smaller log stacks um against the house wow they're quite nice and then we could do a stored firewood shed up against the back of the house here Something like that, maybe one log. We'll see, we've got to be careful we don't get rid of that tree, because I do like... Actually, it doesn't matter. We can put in a nature tree if we want to. No, uh, no, I do quite like it. Let's put that over here. We'll put another log sort of next to it, like that. Maybe another little thing of firewood. Uh, maybe right next to the little wood chopping block. And It's not an anvil, is it? Because that's for... Um, that's actually <laughs> that's actually for metal work, not this. So there we go. Oh, we got pumpkins. We got <laughs> some pumpkins. There's so many props. It's like super cool. This fantasy decorations mod definitely would recommend this. Um, yeah, loads of different stuff like barrels. So now we've gone over here. We could add some little barrels maybe out the front. I'm not sure why they'd have barrels. They've got some food here. Maybe we should have. Let's have a little basket with berries in. So we're quite close to the berry hut, aren't we? We could go for a little hand basket with berries as well. Maybe right next to the fire. Maybe they're cooking some something there. And then if we come over to our berry yard as well. Oh, we've got washing. Let's put some washing. <laughs> Let's put some clothes out the back here. Again, it's just like little cool decorations we can use. Um, bucket with milk, bucket with water. Let's do that next to the washing. Oh, yes, there's a tub with water. Let's do that. So, like, they're washing their clothes out in their backyard. There we go. And then we will have some more baskets with berries all around our berry collection area. And they don't seem to sort of interfere with the collection too much, I don't think. I've never sort of extremely spammed them that hard. Uh, but, yeah, they're kind of cool from that perspective. So let's add a few in here. We'll also add a couple of little hand baskets. Maybe an extra one outside of that building. And if we click build here, they will instantly build. So we get these, yeah, just cool little features. Just these extra baskets, I think, help as well in here. I need to cover up that lamp. Um, and now we've got this, actually. Let's go back into fancy decorations, because another really cool thing in it. Um, which one's... Oh, this is... Yeah, right, that's that one. Uh, we also get a little bit of surface painter, <laughs> which is kind of cool. So we could create a bit of an area which actually doesn't have grass, which is a little bit paved out the back here. Um, something like that. Let's actually get a small square and change the shape ever so slightly, just so it's not quite so rounded as that. And again, we can snap these onto the side of each other, which is pretty cool. Let's go like that. It's a slightly more odd shape. And we'll do something similar actually over here. Yeah, this mod is awesome. <laughs> really awesome. Uh, let's just create slightly smaller. And we want it random as well. I don't want a really obvious square out here, which is why I'm kind of merging in some circles with some squares. Something like that. Just for their little walk to bucket out the back. But yeah, they will walk round and use this wood cut chopping block, which is uh, very cool. Very cool indeed. Hello from Omsk, which is in Siberia. Welcome. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome in. My God, you guys have been busy in chat. My goodness. Um, is the day and uh, is there a day and night cycle? There is not. 
I don't know if there's a mod for it actually. There is a mod to get seasons involved in it, but there's no day night cycle. There is weather though, so you get these bad weather periods where you have to stock up on food because like things like farming berries becomes much harder. Have I got new villagers? I keep missing them, don't I? Oh, our happiness is going up. Yay! Um yeah, so there is weather involved, but not day night cycle, no, so it doesn't go dark. A second one, I asked, right, what did I asked? Uh, with the addition of foundation to your roster, would you consider other building games? Would love to see some Sims 4 building and detailing, Life by You, etc. Yeah, I definitely want to play some Life by You for sure. Um, Sims 4, I don't know, like, I, I love Sims 4, don't get me wrong. Uh, we could do some <laughs> building in it. I wouldn't do any kind of let's play, I don't think, on that, but building wise, we could do. I'm definitely not the best of it, but we can have some fun with it for sure. <laughs> No, oh, Exy's not a fan of Sims 4. Yeah, I would I would like to introduce other games to the roster, definitely. Like City Skylines is awesome, don't get me wrong, and it will I, I, I can imagine it stays a fundamental part of um or Cities XL maybe, yeah, potentially, yeah, absolutely. Part of the channel. Um but yeah, I would like to like my big passion in a lot of these games anyway, this style of game at least, because I do like to play an RPG and things like that, which is obviously totally different as well. Um, in these type of games it is the, the building and the detailing that I love. So yes, I would like to um I'd like to introduce more games. Like I'd love to do like Enshrouded looks awesome from a base building perspective, so I don't know if that would be up your vice street, but something like Enshrouded or Val like the building in Valheim's so cool. <laughs> so cool. You can create some awesome stuff. Like that sort of thing. So maybe we will. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Looking forward to Life by Few. Yeah, we'll definitely, we've got to do some Life by Few. <laughs> we definitely have to. Um, so yeah, my warehouse, I forgot that I hadn't assigned any resources. Now the important thing here is I need tools. Um, and we also need to have a little look at trade routes, which we can now unlock great because we've got enough planks. So I'm going to unlock the first trade route. And with that, we can buy certain things from them, but we can also sell to them as well. So that helps us to make a bit of money. So you can see our money up in the sort of top left over here um we can buy tools from the first thing which is like the most important thing that we need so as long as i've got tools on a warehouse somewhere then that's okay we will be able to accept them we also need to come into here of course and go to tools and say buy and i just want to have a small amount i don't want to spend loads of money on tools so i'm just going to say up to 10 so they'll buy once we reach less than 10 they'll buy in an amount to bring us back up to 10 at least and that'll kind of keep on a cycle so that's quite a useful thing we'll see what we can sell to them as well so we can sell berries so i'm quite inclined to do that so let's put that up do we have villagers no we don't uh let's put that up to i'm gonna say 50 because we need to keep a stock for our own villagers um meat as well is something so we could come onto that planks we can also sell so let's definitely do that too i'm gonna say over let's say over 30 for the moment so as soon as we have more than 30 planks, then it will kind of trigger a potential trade. It only happens every so often. You can only trade a certain amount. So you will see these rising much higher than these numbers. Um, but that's the sort of general principles behind it. It's kind of fun. I want to stream in Shrouded. Oh, an egg in Shrouded stream. There we go. Yes, you should do it. You should do it. Everyone's down for it. I like the look of in Shrouded, yeah. I'd watch either of us play. Awesome. Next week, perhaps. I look forward to that. I look forward to that. I design homes in real life and use The Sims 4 to see if people can use the home I designed. That's so cool, right? <laughs> That's so cool. Yes. I used to, like, design my own house, like, basically recreate my own houses in The Sims 4 just for fun. <laughs> it is a very fun game. Um, oh, we don't have a forester anymore. Right, let's give our forester back. Let's also... How many? We've only got one more unemployed. Let's actually just check our jobs in here. What is actually available? What do we need the most? I'm going to say, what are people wanting? They're wanting a lot of food. So let's go for forager for the moment. And we'll keep everything else like that. We do need more citizens to come in. Or surf, should I say, to arrive in our village. But we'll get to that. But yeah, there we go. Okay, we're starting to sort of take shape here i might do a little bit of nature decorations potentially 
let's actually use the mod nature decorations um, and see what we come. Oh, I need to do some um, pathway underneath that as well, actually. So we'll come on to that. Oh, look, there's someone trading. This guy is trading. He's buying stuff and selling stuff. Awesome. Buy from them. Yeah, so we could have bought tools from them. I don't know if we have. No, we haven't because we're not less than 10. So that's fine. But there you go. You can see them with those little symbols. Villager path is blocked. Oh, where's our villager path blocked? So we can see that in the log here. Could not reach warehouse. Oh, yes, yeah, so it'll be one direction of the warehouse that's... There we go. It's probably too too close for their liking. We'll move that back. I need to demolish that warehouse. So we'll come on to that. That's probably what it was, is that path was too close. Um, there are multiple entrances into all the buildings, so sometimes they kind of react a little bit if you block one of the entrances, even though there's another one um, that they could go into. So that's sometimes a little bit silly, but there we go. It is what it is. Let's cover up the horrendous monstrosity that is Aladdin's lamp over here. We're just going to place a bush over it. <laughs> um, I'd also probably like to place a few more bushes, I think, around our little um, berry area, which I think would look kind of cool. It's a little bit of extra decoration. We could also place in our own trees now too. So I think I would like quite a nice big tree outside the front of these. Something like that. Was that new villagers? Yes! Yes. We'll take both of you. Thank you very much. Um, let's build in those nature decorations just for a second. And yeah, there we go. Oh, we almost... You can still see a tiny bit of the lamp <laughs> poking out the side. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Um, let's actually just come back into fantasy decorations over here too. Um, we'll add in just a small little area under this hanging thing. Is it meant to be over a fire? It probably is, isn't it? Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> um, I don't know if we have a little fire in here. Actually, yeah, we do. Campfire extinguished. Yeah, that's fine. Place that underneath. There we go. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Could you say? Um, Lara, hello, welcome in. Have you placed a granary yet? No, I haven't. No. <laughs> I'm getting very distracted. No, I haven't. Uh, have we got to common path? No, we haven't. What are we on? 80. Oh, we're so close. I kind of want to wait till we get that so I don't have to build the big granary and then demolish it. Storage is full. Where's the storage full? It's not telling me. Okay, it's probably not full anymore. There we go. Um, yeah, food diversity. So this was the point that one of you made early on. Um, oh, Sarah B, welcome in. Foundation looks cool. It's very fun. It's very fun. We want to put two different types of food on the table, which is half the reason probably why they're so upset. So we need to do that. Village decorations as well. We need to put in some sort of decorations. So let's do that. These are like little kind of quest opportunities that we can do to gain some s stuff, basically. It'll kind of show us the path through the game as well. Um, I am not going to align to an estate, I don't think, right now. So I think I'm going to skip that basically and, and carry on by myself we we really do desperately <laughs> need a granary though you're out here, right <laughs> i've only just realized i can get live chat shown on my tv so i don't have to constantly stare at my phone to keep up with it yes ben <laughs> yes you can <laughs> yes you can um i don't know if we go oh gosh i don't know if we go for fish we might actually go for some chickens i think we're gonna go for chickens so let's uh, go to food production here. So this is this is a mod again. It's livestock farming. Um, I do need to use fantasy decorations. So just to remove these trees quickly. Again, you could do this without this mod. Um, not fantasy decorations. No, that's not what I want. I want Aladdin's lamp. Um, you could do this without this mod uh, just by extracting the trees over this area with a lumber camp. So that's not. This isn't like the only way <laughs> to do it but it's just a hell of a lot quicker. So it's a little bit cheaty, but in terms of designing an aesthetic town, I feel, I feel like it's kind of necessary. Um, so right, let's go back to our chickens. Now, I need to be a little bit careful about this. Oh, do we want eggs? Oh, let's go for eggs. We've got, we got the overcharged egg in the chat. Let's go for eggs, why not? We want to be a little bit careful because you can see that brown area around it is going to make this land undesirable, but I kind of like the idea of having chickens in your backyard. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. 
Um, can you rename villagers? Maybe the ancestors of the family in solitude live here. Yes, SK. Yes, I love that. Yes, we absolutely can. Um, let's do some villager naming. Once we've got this set up, we get our happiness up. We're going to do some villager naming. Yes. I remember a game that was a builder that was also a survivor game. What was it, Franklin? <laughs> what was it? No one knew about the, the, the chat on TV. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. It's really useful. Well, I've always I, I've always kind of wondered, when I streamed on Twitch, I used to put the chat up on the screen. Like, I don't know if you guys would like that or find that annoying. I kind of think because it's on YouTube, you've got the chat separately. So if you want to see the chat, you can bring up the chat on your TV, even then, if you're watching. Yes, we've reached busy tier. Yes, great news. Um, let's add in a little egg cart. Oh, see, this would be good in our little market area as well, wouldn't it? It's kind of we've kind of got a kind of spur of the moment market area here. Uh, let's maybe we could plop it in their front garden. Let's do it here. Okay, so let's build our poultry farm. Oh, we've got more villagers arriving. Let's delete out this bit of fence so we don't have that. Let's get these villagers. Let's nab them in. Oh, we've got villagers unemployed as well. My goodness, I'm not keeping up with it. <laughs> I'm not keeping up with it. I'm distracted. Oh, we've only got one villager. We need to get the happiness up and then we'll start to get a few more people coming in. Um, so we're able to get them to work. Someone get their mum in. Let's hit 100. <laughs> we're 98. Oh my god. I just, like, genuinely, I'm actually, like, blown away by that. Like, I really didn't think we'd get so many of you here for a game that I've never streamed before. So, like, yeah, thank you. If you're watching this back on the VOD as well, like, please do leave a comment. Um, stream VODs never get comments because, like, everyone's in the chat. Um, so, yeah, like, let me know what you think of this game. That's really what I want to know. Like, do you want to see more of it? Or is, like, just a one-off little fun stream like this? We could turn it into a little stream series if we want to. Um, that could be fun. Let's have a poultry a market person. Um, yeah, just let me know what you think of it. That's really what I'd like to know. Like, are you happy seeing something that's not City Skylines or Planet Zoo, of course? <laughs> Introducing another game to our roster, as it were. Um, yeah, I think we'll leave it like that. I want to get our wood up quite a bit because we haven't got that much at the moment. So that should be good. Yeah, you see the forester is now filling this in nicely. So we've got like a kind of permanent wood camp here, which is great. Um, we need to assign this resource. Yes, we're selling eggs here. We've got a poultry farmer now. We've got chickens out in the back garden of this house, which I always think is kind of cool. And I think actually by way of decoration, let's get in a little hedge here. So we draw this in here. We can snap it into the nodes of this other one and it just overlaps and then that gives a little bit more decoration behind these market stalls which i think is a bit nicer and we could also probably do with a little bit more nature let's have a nice big tree and sort of overlapping this i think probably more so in the garden there's a bit of extra shelter yeah there we go <laughs> it's starting to come together slowly we got another villager arriving that's great news okay granary granary i'm sorry <laughs> i'm putting in the granary <laughs> i'm putting in the granary um right here we go so we want to go to logistics for this and we've got the granary there however i am going to use a mod for this so i'm going to come in here and do small storage we're going to unlock that so that we've got it um, we definitely want to start unlocking a few more of those as well. Uh, but now, yeah, we get this storage thing, which just gives us slightly smaller buildings <laughs> to work with than the massive granary that's sort of in the game, um, it's just, uh, in the base game, basically. And mods are super easy to get on this game as well. It's all built into the game. So you can just, on your main menu, when you load it up, there's an option for mods and you can go in there and search by the most popular and you'll see some great ones. Like it's really, really easy to manage. And I'm really hoping that that's what Paradox mods are like actually for cities as well. Um, if that's a good example of it, I'll, I'll definitely be pleased if it's anything like that. <laughs> yeah. So I want to put this granary, importantly, really close to the berries so that we stock up into there. Um, and I'm thinking we're going to do two of these. So again, let's sort of, I'm not going to snap together in this case. But we can kind of make them into one little complex like this, just around our pathway. And then we can store eggs from our poultry farm in there as well. And we get two styles of it as well. So these are kind of cute little buildings. Yeah, really like these. 
So let's get our granaries in there. That tree will disappear when they build it. So that'll be fine. You can kind of build over trees like that and it's not too much of a problem. Uh, what else did I want? I wanted to change the warehouse too. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, what was I going to... I was going to show you the base... Yeah, so this is the, the base game granary, which is kind of big. <laughs> like, it's a really cool building, don't get me wrong, but I prefer to use that somewhere a bit more built up rather than these sort of outskirts of our village out here. Yeah. Oh, Beth, hello! Welcome in! I haven't seen you in a long time. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in. Uh, 105! Way! We, we broke 100! That's like way more, way more than the last Solid Gene stream. I so appreciate that. Thank you. A uh, pull. hello! Welcome in. I love this game and I'm curious to see those mods. That's the thing that I don't really love about this game, the fact that you can't really control where paths go. It triggers me. Ah, see, Paul, you can though. It, like strategic placing of fencing is definitely the way forward. Like here, look, we've got like a cute little sort of front to our houses. Yeah. Yeah, strategic placing of fencing to guide where they can walk is absolutely key in this. So you'll like see, hopefully, depending on how far we get today, <laughs> you'll see like us expanding and I'll kind of um, direct them where I want them to go. I do try to use like paths like this. I'll probably try and use that as kind of a main street. Um, but this almost certainly won't stay. <laughs> It's this wiggly line like we'll use the fencing to direct them basically but yeah it's, it's super cool i'm glad i'm glad there's another foundation person um in the chat yes yes um oh my god D dj for the 10 us dollar super sticker thank you thank you i <laughs> love that one thank you so much really greatly appreciate it thank you and that's your first super on a live stream <laughs> i'm like insanely grateful thank you thank you dj really appreciate it glad the foundation is uh ticking everyone's boxes tonight and bradley city <laughs> for the five australian dollar super chat thank you so much brad appreciate you as always thank you thank you thank you um yeah, thank you. I'm really blown away, honestly. Paradox mods are probably not coming until the end of the year. I oh, know, SK, this is just it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Foundation was able to do mods right from the onset of early access, but just, just have a dick. <laughs> no, it's really disappointing, but look, if we're patient, I think, hopefully, it'll be worth the wait. Um, so we've got our granaries now, so we can assign resources to this. So I'm going to stock up on berries, definitely um in quite a few of these we can cut can we click on each one no they're sort of joined together because we built them as one so we will assign eggs to the other one and we'll hopefully start stocking up on some of those we do need a transporter how many people let's put two on those oh god sorry i keep messing with the cameras <laughs> that's not good to look at that's not good to look at sorry um let's get another poultry farmer because we really need the food which is getting better we're getting better we need a church in as well so we'll come on to that um granary doesn't have a transporter granary oh we've put them all in one oh that's irritating right so nicolino you're coming off there and we're gonna put nicolino onto that granary so we've got kind of one on each granary that'll be fine we're still missing that foraging hut i'm not worried we've got one that is fully stocked with workers okay that's everyone with a job nice should we do some naming Wait, we've got one more villager. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> um, let's have... How are we doing on... Uh, we don't really have that much wood planks. So I'm not too worried about a carpenter right now. Let's get some more stone on the go. And that'll be fine. That'll be fine for the moment. Let's have a little uh, hydration break, shall we? Gotta love a mum chat. Oh, definitely love a mum chat. <laughs> Absolutely. Having those wooden fences with mods is really nice because the game we only have bulky hedge and wool. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, I can't remember what mod actually gives me the fences. Is it? It might be. Uh, it might be. It might be fantasy decorations or nature. No. Uh, mm. It might be fantasy decorations. I think it is. I think so. 
when do you get to expand your area um you mean so buy more more districts so you can do that at any time you just need to have some money so we've got our so you buy you get one area to start with and then you get another one for free so that's what we did here with these two so we'll expand towards the water basically to get fishing in um but yeah we can buy one now so we can expand out either way if we wanted to now um, we've got a lot of trees in here that we should probably capitalise on. Um, so yeah, we can buy any territory that's connected to one that we own. Like we couldn't come across the map here and buy one out here because it's not connected to one we own. So that is one kind of limitation is you do have to build around the areas that you've already got. Um, oh look, we've got multiple sources of food. Villagers are happy, wonderful. Oh, look at that. We only need a church and then everyone get 100% happiness. <laughs> um, yeah, and then, yeah, you can buy any of these. So they do cost, yeah, 125 That's a five uh, pound, pound money, whatever it is. Dollars, let's say dollars, um, upkeep per month. So you obviously want to make sure that you've got that, which you can see from up here. Um, that gets more expensive the more territories you have. So that's something else to bear in mind as well. Abandon? No, I don't want to abandon it. Um, right, sorry, I'm still on the territory button. Let's get those villagers in. Let's get them working. So we'll have another carpenter uh let's have another transporter on the warehouse yeah that's it that's good right church let's have a little think about church so we could do it we could kind of do it here we could buy this territory and then we've got a little bit more space to expand into because we're making enough money now from selling the berries and the wood so let's do that let's expand this way very slightly um, so I am going to, let's come off territories, let's go into Aladdin's lamp. So to get into it, now that I've hidden it, I'm just going to click on these berries constantly because um, if you place it again, you have to place another lamp, <laughs> which just doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for me. Dog mums are welcome too. This is so cute. Mum gang, hashtag mum gang. Oh. As kids. Wait, what was this? Kids, Riley. I think I missed that. <laughs> Gotta love mum chat. As kids, yeah. Oh, what loving mum chat as kids. Yeah, I was at a I was at a five year old's birthday party today. There was a lot of mum chat going on then. <laughs> There's a lot of mum chat. Right, let's clear out these trees here so we can place in a church. And again, I know like it's very handy just to progress a little bit quicker rather than having to chop down the wood. So a little bit cheaty, but very handy indeed. Um, I pressed pause, haven't I? Yeah, there we go right church let's go into it have we unlocked actually let's have a look in progression so common path can't really explain this um you need this prosperity factor which is based on all these kind of things so as soon as we unlock a new territory for example we're going to get more prosperity adding beautifications adding details <laughs> yes levels us up <laughs> Um, and we can unlock more decorative things as you go through as well. And then we've got Labour, Kingdom and Clergy. So this is where we're getting influence, splendour and a rating from them. Um, yeah, Labour's kind of more about taverns, um, taxing your people, having a manor house basically, which we also need to put in very, very soon <laughs> um, to expand our treasury. Kingdom's very much about the military, so you can add a military fort and Clergy's all about monastery and that sort of thing. Um, so I think I'm going to get the splendor package before we uh, build our church yes and a small stone wall we don't really need monastery yet so i'll save that um so yeah let's get those th three things because then when we go in to build our church we'll have a few more options available to us for it um so yeah at the moment we've only got this that little thatched church but as you progress up and like through that through that path like further down here i have to remember where it is stone church there we go so that gives you a slightly different style of church of course you've got the monastery which is kind of much grander and bigger scale and houses monks and nuns and stuff like that which is kind of cool it's a very cool concept but yeah i think we'll have our church in here for now and i do want to have the stone bell tower so tower tower um because that was unlocked through that splendor package and i kind of like i don't know where we put it like this is where you can start to get crazy and designing your building because then we've got all these extensions as well that we could snap onto the sides so we could just fully merge in another building however we want you can change the height of them too you can even go like i was testing this the other day really super super duper tall if you want to which obviously looks ridiculous so don't do that <laughs> we might want to do that for fun 
Um, I think we're running out of jobs, so we might want to just pause immigration for a second. So I'm going to turn that off here so we're not getting new villagers coming in. Um, we can put a forager on there. Yeah, that's fine. We've still got a couple open, but we don't really need them right now. So I'm kind of inclined to leave those. Um, oh, do we go for a nice little simple, simple church? I don't want to build it too big at first because we just don't need to, honestly. Have a little tile. Yeah, you can like oh, it's, it's very cool, the building with Alex on this. Get very creative with it. Um, I think let's just have a stone tower on the side here. Let's actually make this slightly bigger than normal because that will increase its capacity as well. So you see here, I think anyway, doesn't it? 45, does it not? 57, yeah, it does. Um, maybe it doesn't, just a couple of levels up. No, it doesn't. We'll make it slightly taller anyway. Actually, no, we won't. We'll leave it, <laughs> we'll leave it as low because this is like quite a sort of small village area. So yeah, that'll do. Have the stone bell tower in there. And then these things, so like crosses and stuff like that, is going to add splendor. So does the stone bell tower. So you can see that here. So that's going to help us to unlock more things on the clergy estate path, essentially, in the game. Um, yeah, so if we want, to, you can specialise in one of them or you can actually pretty much do all three, which is generally what I do just to get a nice town. So we can put the cross up the top there, we can put it here, we can make some graves as well. Like, So I quite like making a little graveyard, um, which also adds splendour. So let's just go ahead and do it because why not? And we can mix in some of the stone crosses with the actual graves, which is quite a nice aesthetic. And the little wooden cross as well, why not? Let's have a very mixed graveyard. Um, let's put this there. I'll we'll mix in a couple of other graves, just the regular graves. They're not perfectly straight, but I'm going to not care too much about it because we'll be here for hours. <laughs> we'll do that and have a little graveyard out the side. A um, little bench. So these benches and stuff add beautification, which is that flower, which is kind of cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so we can do that. We've got a roadside as well. We could add this just to add some more beautification to our church. So we can do that. I do need to add an entrance, though. <laughs> so let's do that this one adds some splendor so does the wooden gate so we've got a few little choices here and i go let's let's go for the stone one yeah let's go for the stone one or we could just plop a door wherever we want to and of course you can turn snapping off and place it essentially wherever you want as long as there's interior access to your building um but that'll do nicely anyway for our church let's not dwell on it too much actually sorry i will come back in and we'll add some little benches out the front i think just to make this nice and we'll add a bush as well which is just going to add some more beautification to our little village and the benches again are fully functional <laughs> fully functional props or something very much to get excited about so there we go We'll place those in and we'll see little villagers coming to sit on those, um, which is kind of cute. And then I do want to frame our church here just to make sure that there's sort of an obvious pathway around it again, just so we don't get random paths around it. Another way to kind of control things a little bit. So let's do that up to there. We'll create an entranceway into the church. And this is essentially going to be our churchyard here. We can just straighten that out a little bit like that. We'll leave enough room, hopefully, to expand it out the back. We might want to just oh, pull this one back a little bit. Yeah, we'll go like that. Yeah, just to give ourselves a little bit more room there. So that'll do nicely. There we go. We'll wait for that to be built. Now we name some some citizens. <laughs> Oh, you're all joining the mum chat. This is so nice. This is such a wholesome chat. <laughs> More gaming chats instead of mum chats. So yes, I like a gaming chat under mum chat. A little bit of, little bit of both. Let's make a cathedral. SK wants to make a cathedral. We could do that. We could make the monastery. We can go right in and start making a monastery if we want to. I do need polished stone for that though. Uh, so let's just check where we are. Let's unlock the monastery. Why not? We'll do that. I need to make a manor house first <laughs> so we can store. Yeah, we have got a stonemason hut. Yeah, let's do that. We do need to build some better housing for them. But again, we can do that. 
Um, we might want to, if we're going to promote someone, we need to think about clothing. So sheep is going to be part of that. So let's get a sheep and the clothing unlocked too. Let's also get the decorative because we like decorative things. That'll do for the moment. We are going to want the bailiff's office. I'm conscious of not spending all of the money that we have. So let's leave that. Okay, let's build a manor house first. And then we'll come on and build the stonemasons and start upgrading some people. Um, manor house wise, do we want to, I don't know why I moved my village to town here. That's probably a little bit, uh, a little bit stupid and pointless. Oh, Coco. Coco's turned up. <laughs> Wonderful. We need some more Coco cab. That's why CS2 props are not available yet. They're working on making them functional. I really hope that's the case. I really, really hope that's the case, SK. Like, I really hope you're right. Really, really do. <laughs> Very much so. Um, I think let's keep it all in sort of one place and we're going to build the manor house here. Shall we? I was going to put it around the town centre, but I'm realising it's actually quite a big diff <laughs> distance from the little village we've got going on over here, so... It might not work. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's have a manor house over here. Let's put it this side. So we're going to go to administration for this. Manor house. Oh, sorry. Hit the mic. Um, we need to start off with a great hall. We need at least one great hall, which will bring people, em emissaries, into our town, which is always useful uh, for anything, really. <laughs> um, now I'm thinking we want this on the corner. I might have to move this whole building once we're done with it. But let's place this in. I need to turn snapping on. We'll place that there. I'll come back to that in a second. Let's now add in treasury because that's what we want loads of because the treasury will increase the amount of coins that we can keep in our town. So at the moment we're limited at 500. So we will literally cap out at 500 and we won't get any more, um, which is uh, not ideal <laughs> to say the least. So um, we're not making that much money at the moment, but it is useful to have that as a bit of a backup further down the line. So yeah, here it's just the same thing. Like we can start piecing together this house. We can turn the snapping off if we want to, so we have a bit more fluidity. Um, I'm kind of inclined to yeah leave it on for a lot of it. Kind of blocking that window at the back a little bit, aren't we? There, can we raise that up a touch? I'll just raise that up a little bit, which looks okay from that perspective. We can turn off the internal access as well, so you don't, it kind of blocks your view sometimes a little bit that. Let's actually turn off snapping to place in this tower, because I quite like that window right at the front. And then we're going to raise this up. So we've got this little tower peeking in between these two windows here. I quite like that aesthetic. We could go even a little bit taller with it, couldn't we? Make it a little bit more grand. Something along those lines. <laughs> um, that'll probably do for now because I don't want to go too overboard. If we we're not going to move the whole thing, if we move this, are we? Yeah, uh, that's <laughs> that's a trouble. Um, no, put this back. Put this back. Let's turn snapping back on because that was snapped in. Snapped into the side of there and then moved, doesn't it? Oh no, I've lost the position. <laughs> okay, let's turn snapping off then. And we'll come back here. We'll take this a little bit. It was somewhere about here, I think. Something like that. Does that look all right at the back? It's not too bad. Be a little bit more angled. So let's just turn it a tiny bit. Uh, sometimes, that's one thing about the game, is sometimes it's a little bit tricky to get very precise mouse movements, I find. I don't know, I'm a little bit crazy with the mouse movement anyway, but there we go. Um, yeah, okay, we can leave it there. We can leave it there and do some decorating around it. Let's also add in this interactive location marker, oops, um, that we want to do here. Uh, I'm pressing the wrong button, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm pressing the wrong button on my keyboard, there we go. So yeah, we can place this right in front of the doorway here, and then our emissaries will stand on that point when they come with word of different tasks or trading things and well not trading yeah yeah more trading things like upgrades to our trading mechanics and that sort of thing so oh let's add a chimney why not does that give us splendor yeah it does give us a bit of labor splendor for this one so 
we'll add, we'll add a chimney in, why not? Um, let's do it, let's do it further back, let's do it here. Like that. Okay, let's build that, we'll get our builders working. They were sitting in their little hut not doing anything. <laughs> Um, but there we go, we're up to 98% happiness now, so that's pretty decent. Our houses are filling up quite a bit. Our church is built, wonderful. They're just doing some graveyards out the side, but there we go. So that's why, because they, they've got their service needs fulfilled. Fulfilled, there we go. Um, oh my goodness, you guys have been so see a chat today i'm sorry if i'm uh, ignoring anyone greg burr welcome in welcome in eric cock welcome in must be months since i last got to catch a few candy stream yes welcome in it's good to see you it's good to see you still here thank you for popping in um who else have we got crochi <laughs> that's how i say it I'm gonna call you Crow. Hello, sorry I'm late, so I'm going to scroll back to watch everything from the start. I love Foundation, I haven't seen this update yet. Okay, I'll be quiet then. Much love from the Netherlands. Well, when you get to this point, much love. <laughs> Thank you, I hope you've enjoyed the little Foundation stream so far. Um, yeah, really cute. The updates have been so good to it recently, like really good, really good building updates and, and yeah, just loads of quality of life improvements. It's awesome to see yeah this whole ui when i first started playing this game looked entirely different like entirely different so it's pretty crazy <laughs> maxi bike hello welcome in welcome in been, been a while since you were around yes it's good to see you and Rao gamer hello welcome in <laughs> so many of you thank you so much oh dimmy hello hope your stream is all right hope your stream is all right welcome in um using yes this is proper modular building which cs2 have gone down with this approach yes i totally agree absolutely agree like the modular building in this is so good like being able to fit different things together like this like if cities had done that it just would have been so different like like i guess like it's not it would make the game not as like bigger scale as it kind of generally is now uh so i guess a lot of people would be off put by that the people who just want like a simulation game would be off put by that but for us detailers, <laughs> it would be the absolute dream, wouldn't it? Can you imagine if you could just like slot different elements from a police station together and like turn them around to different angles? You create all these custom buildings, like have a different police station all over your city in every location, like just be amazing. But never mind, eh? <laughs> Oh, that's why we watch for you, Candy, because she's an awesome detailer. Thank you, Claire. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Let's build monasteries, cathedrals. Let's build the Holy See. Yes, okay. we'll have it all. We'll have it all. Oh, we've got our first em emissary. Um, how does your village wish to make themselves useful to your people? Oh, they're just giving us... Okay, so there's some elders who just want to give us some tools and some labour. I can't remember which the circle one is. What is the circle? Influence, there we go. Okay, well that's good. Thanks for that. <laughs> we appreciate that. Oh, provision barrels, stable fence, roof stable, woodshed. Yes, we want the decorative side of these. We also get a hedge there, so let's just unlock that. Market splendor. <laughs> I want that. I'm gonna come on to that in a second. Um, I'm probably not gonna to touch on Kingdom really today, I don't think. I think we'll focus now that we've got a church in and someone's calling for mod well, SK's calling for monastery. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Can I ask what mods you're using? Let's actually slow the gameplay down a little bit now. Um, yes, you can. I may not be able to list them all. There's no way I can see them up here, isn't there? Um, so I am using housing mods, so I have got house expansion set, I've got um residential area, and I've got one other, which I cannot remember house additions um, mods so i've got three of those so that we can plop in all of our residential buildings um rather than kind of zoning and have them placed in which is also kind of cool because you can place them a little bit closer to less desirable areas as well and the, the residents will still move in and be happy so it's all good um what else have i got i have got poultry farming um i have got vegetable farming as well I have also got, so if we go to the last thing here, I've got Aladdin's lamp, which I just mainly use to remove trees and put in extra berry bushes like here. Fantasy decorations, um, that's that one, fantasy decorations just for extra props um, and like being able to plop parthing decals and that sort of thing. Nature decorations for extra trees and bushes. Um, I have got the stone gate set, um, which I think comes with the window set as well. It's somehow part of it. 
um, additional houses. That's one of the housing mods. I've got medieval fair, which just gives us a load more props <laughs> as well. Um, and also medieval stone walls. Um, I have got some others. I have also got, what else have I got? What else have I got? Poultry farms. I'm trying to think now. Oh, I've got the storage mod. Um, is it better storage? which unlocks small granaries and small warehouses. I think it's like the top mod that you get for storage based things. Um, what else do I have? I'm trying to think now. I have got flax farms on as well. Oh, I've got orchards as well for cider production. And I have got livestock farms. Is livestock farm part, part of the poultry farm mod? I can't remember. Um, I will try and remember to bring it up. If you go back to the, towards the beginning of the screen, uh, stream, I did show them towards the start. So you'll be able to see from there. Um, but I'll try and put up a full list of the mods in the comment section right after the stream for you. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and add a little tent to our market stall because why not? We'll also add a little food sign because we can get market splendor up. In fact, I'm missing a lot of these things down here. Let's just get rid of some of the tutorial type stuff. A career request an audience. Here we go. The kingdom recognizes my efforts in establishing the settlement, so they're just going to give me some money. Great. <laughs> I'll take that. Um, promoting villagers. We'll promote someone in a second, I think, as well, because we want the stonecutter camp. Build a monastery. There we go, SK. <laughs> your, your dreams are granted. I don't know how far we're going to get into a monastery build tonight. Now, here's the question. Do we want monks and nuns? Just monks. And, I think we'll go for monks and nuns. Yeah, we're not We're not going to be... <laughs> we're not going to be biased. We'll go for that. Um, what else have we got? Levy funds. Mm, we don't really need to do that. Let's not do that for the moment. Um, that's basically asking all of your villagers to give you money. <laughs> that's just kind of funny. Um, and they will as well. Aspiration village. We should aspire to greatness. Track a village aspiration. Um, we can do that. We can do that. <laughs> I don't know what we want to do. Um, that one is very hard. <laughs> it's very hard to please all three estates. You can see here, like because I've got this manor house now. And we've got some influence in Labour. All of the other states now hate us, basically. <laughs> That's what happens. Um, I think we're just going to go for a famous builder. So let's track that for the moment. We can always change it at a later date anyway. And the advice is followed. Wonderful. Um, yeah, that was mods. Oh, sorry. Other mods. No, I do remember now, actually. I have got other mods. I have got a uh, terrain mod as well. And I've also got the Harbours mod, which I'd forgotten about. There we go. <laughs> Just reminding myself now. Um, our church looks pretty rubbish like this. We definitely need to get something around it. And I want to move the builder's hut, I think, too. So maybe a little building area out here. So we can do that in a second. But let's, let's build a stone cutter's camp. Um, we did unlock it, didn't we? Yeah. I don't know if we really want it here, though. <laughs> We're going to turn this into a bit of a stone cutting area is what it seems so let's go ahead and do it so we'll put it right next to our stone there let's build that and let's also alongside it build some storage uh for yeah here for our stone just so we've got kind of closer access essentially for people transferring the stone to the stone masons or out into the rest of the village uh, which I think is always kind of a good idea, really. How do we want to align this, though, is the question. We could put some storage over this side. Have a bit of a warehouse over here. And have the path flowing through the middle. Might be quite nice. So we could do that. I'm just thinking what would be in this space here. I'll have to have a think about that. Um, so let's plop in a little door to our shed. Let's add a little wooden bench to it as well. Why not? There we go. Let's build that. Um, so that should sit nicely there. I'm thinking, what else can we decorate up? <laughs> Our chickens have disappeared. They kind of spawn in once every couple of weeks, I think it is, or like a couple of days. Oh, here we go. So you do have a month and a week and a day at the bottom. Um, so they're periodic, so you can only make so many eggs, essentially, in a given time. <laughs> 
Um, oh, Riley, sorry, I need to go. Have a great evening. Thank you for popping in, Riley. Really appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Um, everyone hit the thumbs up. Oh, thanks, Riley. <laughs> Stream was fine. Had loads of fun and was time for a serious note. Oh, love this community. Oh, do me. <laughs> oh, that's good. It was fun. Now here to see if this game is any fun. It is fun. It's fun. It's like a quirky little like, it's just a super chill, relaxing, take your time with it, fun little game. I look at all these villagers wandering around, like buried on their back. Like it's cute, this little guy here. We need to name some. We need to name some. Oh, if you click on the load game, I think you can show list of mods. Right, here we go. Uh, uh. Oh, edit mods. Here we go. Yes. Okay, there you go. <laughs> So we have got common resources as well um that's a that's a kind of dependent one i think isn't it foundation ebf oh extended building functions yes again that's another sort of um one required one for some other mods but yeah we've got vegetable poultry farms livestock farms orchard fancy decorations efficient resources storage as well um adds more capacity to the warehouse and granary so takes it from 100 to 200 per socket which is uh, just really useful otherwise you end up with like a thousand warehouses all over your, your town which is kind of annoying i've also got furniture i forgot that one market carts as well i've got quite a few <laughs> uh, windows decorations we do have that storage a uh, wheat plus wool plus we've got those entertainment i haven't really like used that that much actually that's one that i've got recently there you go installed very recently most of them were um medieval fair stone walls milk boost mold ball water mill set that's another one and the water sources of course for our different wells so hopefully you can like freeze that if you want <laughs> if you want the whole list hopefully i went down that slow enough for you guys to see um i will try and put it in chat as well after the stream too but yeah, thank you, Ms. Waldo, for that. <laughs> can still plop and build big scale, just takes a long time. Yes, you can, yeah, that's true. I mean, I plop and build like everything in CS1, right? That does take a long time, but it's possible. <laughs> it's absolutely possible. Oh, we've got another emissary. Oh, build a market, reach five labor splendor with the market. We can do that. So we've already got, so we've got three splendor coming in with our little tent as <laughs> a sign um so let's go to market tables and let's add some more to it so we could add some barrels yeah we can add these as like decoration out the back we haven't really got a huge amount of space next to the fence here but yeah let's add in a few little barrels she is walking around here isn't she we kind of put those in the hedge a little bit that's still be oh she's walking around that side that's fine then don't need to worry about blocking her a weather vane mm, not, not here a sign yeah we could definitely put in a sign somewhere here at this point i'm thinking maybe outside the church we are going to have a path down this way so that might make a little bit of sense actually if it's here sort of plop it like that might make a little bit of sense we've also got little ropes as well so we could use some of these and then block off the market from this side maybe something like that so we have got five splendor now with all of these things oh benches let's of course let's add in some benches put some back behind the well maybe here actually let's add a flower bush these aren't splendor these are decoration and beautification is what they call it within the city uh but every every little helps right let's add in a little bench here maybe one just up against the wall this side that'll do nicely there we go so we need some cloth for that which we have got some cloth there so that should build no problem our manor house is coming along very slowly <laughs> uh yeah there we go <laughs> so we want to name some let's name some um citizens the old geezer just walked by did he did he grow <laughs> let's find the old geezer um let's find a suitable old geezer to be old geezer <laughs> oh gosh Oh, here we go. There we go. Lovenath is now going to be old geezer. Confirm and say. We've got old geezer. What's your job? You're a carpenter. There we go. <laughs> Entertainment, why did my mind go to Burning Ten? I think it's something similar. You can get a brothel within it. <laughs> stuff, which is probably what was going on in Burning Ten. So first of all, no, I'm kidding. No, it's not. Take that back. <laughs> None of that. 
just some very uninnocent drug taking from dodgy rocks <laughs> in uh what was his name travis jesus brown's tent that's where the party was happening <laughs> yeah um oh sambo hello welcome in hope you're doing well hope you're doing well these villages look a little funny not as bad as cities like oh yeah they're, they're kind of quirky aren't they <laughs> a little bit quirky um i think we need a ms waldo i'm gonna go for this one uh, a transporter I mean, you'd be, yeah, you probably need to be the first to be promoted, Miss Waldo, because you helped me throughout the stream. <laughs> there we go. Love Miss Waldo. And the good thing is, these guys don't die and nothing bad happens to them. If we make them unhappy, they will leave. That's the only thing. <laughs> but they'll be here forever. Trapped in Fubury. <laughs> oh, dear. Spicy Frankie. Oh, Spicy Frankie. We can have a Spicy Frankie. What about this guy? He's a miner. He looks pretty spicy. Oh, this guy. This guy. Look, he's, he's even got like a bu bucket of spices on his back, right? Spicy Frankie. How do we spell it? How are we spelling that? Spicy. Spicy Frank. Confirm as say. <laughs> right. Any anyone else? <laughs> anyone else? Can I be a fisherman? No, miss. Yes, you can. Let's put in a fishing hut so we can uh, try and do that. So we'll come down here and do that. Let's um. Let's build out let's build out uh what am i thinking yeah some kind of harbor here dock pilings here we go and then we can put the fishing around it that's the dock ramp yeah um so we've got snapping on so yeah this is a really cool mod the terrain one um basically really really helpful if you're on slopey terrain i'll try and show you an example oh i won't now yeah, if you're on slopey terrain, you can basically plop kind of platforms essentially to put your buildings on, um, which does just help make it quite nice. <laughs> Won't lie. Let's actually delete this one. Let's do this. So let's just put these in here a second. Let's do a dock ramp. I want to make sure it's ramping up the correct way. And put that in the middle. Okay, let's build that. These build instantly as well, which again is like a little bit cheaty. To be unlock fish, actually, we didn't. Let's go ahead and get fish then. Greater food production, fisherman's hut. And we're gonna kind of integrate this into our little dock area here. Which just yeah, makes it look kind of nice, I think. <laughs> so we want that little ladder overhanging. Oh, it's snapping up onto our dock, which might be a bit of a problem. We want it as close as we can get without it snapping. So like that, which I just think having the dock there adds this really nice effect, particularly with that hanging bag of fish there. So let's put that on um, priority. We also want to allow immigration again if we're getting fishing in. <laughs> and you can absolutely be a fisherman, no miss. Um, can we have a rose? We can absolutely have a rose. This is like first come first plus because <laughs> we've only got 29 villagers. Oh, 29, that's quite a lot. Um, let's have a rose. Uh, transporter. Transporter rose. There we go. Thank you, Rose. We've got a rose. He's a bit of an old geezer. <laughs> can we have an E6? All right, he's a bit of an old geezer. Yes, we can absolutely have an E6. Um, oh, here we go. This is this one's perfect. <laughs> this one's perfect. All right, we've got an E6. Uh, Oh, I missed Sunny. Oh, Scope, welcome in. I'm pretty busy right now. I've sadly missed a lot of the live streams lately. Oh, don't worry, Scope. Don't worry. Don't worry. They're always there for whenever you find time. And there'll always be more live streams anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, I hope you're doing well and life isn't too, too busy for you. Perhaps all women should just carry flower names. That's nice, Eric. I like that. Why do we not have this in C? <laughs> I know. Are you talking about the Doc Davis? Yeah, I know. If I pause the game, oh no, we can't do that. We need the we need the fisherman's hut to build. We need to put it on fast speed, so let's do that. Right, that's priority. 20 wood. We've only got four. Damn it. <laughs> May take a while, but we'll get that. I love this game. New series coming soon. Like, if, if the reception to it is, is really good and people want that, then absolutely I would more than happily do a series on Foundation. Like, I love this game. I love this game. Um, I thought I'd just try it out with the live stream. I'm absolutely blown away by how many of you are here to watch it. So thank you. Um, yeah, please, please do let me know in the comments like if you do want to see more live streams of this, if you'd like to see a series of it. Like, yeah, definitely let me know. 
um because i love this game and i will happily happily play it more <laughs> very happily i'm really enjoying the stream oh thank you claire claire please oh, my goodness yes we need a claire claire would you like to sell some eggs <laughs> there we go let's have a claire um i kind of feel like a poultry farmer needs to be named overcharged egg but they're women. <laughs> Are you okay with that egg? <laughs> oh, the thorn breeze! Add some lore. What about the ancestors and the families? Yes, someone mentioned that. Yes, definitely. Well, what would they? What would they be? We want to find like a family that all lives in a house together, don't we? What, which house could be the thorn breeze? This little one on the corner. That's kind of a split house, isn't it? Let's do. Oh my god, I'm doing fencing. Hang on. Oh. Um, let's have a little look at who the people are in here. Okay, yeah, we've got quite a few that we can rename. So we've got Gotshelm, a lady there. That's another lady. That's another lady. That's another lady. <laughs> That's another... Okay, well, anyway, you can be... Oh, maybe not this house then. Right, let's go back. Hang on. Shut all of those. Um... Let's go to the other house in here, which has six occupants. Oh, Giza and Claire. And oh, look at this. Oh, Giza, Claire and Spicy Frank are all living together. Would you guys like to live with the uh, with the thorn breeze? Oh, yes, we could do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, my God, what was the dad's name? Robert. Bobby? Bobby thought... No, Bobby. Bob was, Bob was the son, wasn't it? You have to remind me what the dad was called. I actually can't remember. The mum was called Betty, though. I know that. Hang on, cancel. Why can't I think of that? It's actually, like, gone from my mind. <laughs> Betty Thornberry. And Bob. Was it Bobby Thornberry? I actually can't remember. I really can't remember the names. I might have to check my little notebook that I have next to me at all times. As a cheat sheet. <laughs> Where I write down these like random ideas. Bruce! Thank you! Thank you! And it was Bobby. Okay, so we've got Bobby Thornbury. So Bobby Thornbury is a woodcutter. Betty is a builder. And uh, Bruce Thornbury. Bruce! Why can't I think of that? Bruce Thornbury is a carpenter. There we go. Okay, so who was that? Who was that? That was Claire. Old oh, geezer Claire and Spicy Frankie are living with the Thornbreeze. <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> Nigel, yeah, but no, it wasn't Nigel. <laughs> we all remember Betty because she posts 10 times a day on Instagram. Exactly right. She's like, Betty's famous. <laughs> Rose should be a Thornbury. We need a, we need a daughter Thornbury. I need to get in contact with uh, Sully again and see if he'll make us another another Thornbury. <laughs> Bruce, see Edward had it. Thank you, thank you, Edward. Yes. Oh, I don't think you have a keep, but when you do, you could name a soldier Sambor. It actually means lone warrior. Amazing, amazing. You're gonna have to. I'm gonna write that down in my notebook, but <laughs> my brain's gonna forget. We're going to have Sambo as a warrior when we come to build a keep. Absolutely. That's really cool. I like that name. I like the meaning of the of the name. That's good to know. Right, writing that down. We've got that. No, this is going to be a fisherman. Oh, look, here we go. So we've got some unemployed people. Let's have a little look who's unemployed. Fontella. Oh, oh, no, no, miss. Here we go. Fisherman. Let's assign them to here. And this is now going to be no, miss. <laughs> you need a house, though. We're actually failing at this game <laughs> right now because I'm all over the place. <laughs> You're going to need a house quite close to your little uh, workplace here. And actually what I was going to do as well, just while we think about it, we'll come back to naming in a second. So shout out if you want more names. <laughs> I love those chickens. They're like, what was that? Proper twitchy. Yeah, they are. Oh, we'll go and have a look at them in a second. Yes. Yeah, we will. Right, let's put in another dot piling here, which I think we can just about get away with. Urgh, might be a bit dodgy. Can we move the whole thing? We can. Oh, lovely. Even after we've built it, we can literally move the entire thing. Let's turn snapping off. 
That's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Um, it is going up a bit though. Why is that going up a bit? Have I just completely ruined our dock? Let's delete the entire thing and start again. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I do want one, yeah, quite kind of integrated into the fishing hut. That's what I was thinking. Let's turn stuffing on now. And we can bring out this little dock area. And you can get really fancy with these. I'll show you some decorations in a sec as well. Um, let's actually bring it out a little bit further. We can get a ship on here. A decorative ship. <laughs> uh, let's, let's have a few little ramps, why not? We'll ramp up from three different places here. Right, and then we'll get back to David. Again, shout out if you want something to <laughs> it's up to you. Okay, and then let's just do a very tiny bit of uh, fancy decoration. So I put it on pause, I have, haven't I? Let's uh, get it back up to three feet. Yeah, so like we can do stuff like this, which is kind of cool. Small wooden crane, not a small one at the dock or a large one. I think we're going to go for a large one. We can also place buildings on this as well. So these terrain pieces you can place buildings on, which is just mighty cool. <laughs> mighty cool. Small trading ship. Here we go. So let's place this in sort of underneath the crane, I'm thinking. And then we could go ahead and start to place like some resources and stuff like that along the dock edge. Which is always kind of cool. We could have a cart. We could place resources in the cart as well. Probably won't do that here. It's more barrels, isn't it? Should we have a pottery? Hmm. I kind of want sacks, really. Yeah, grain sacks. Let's do that. Grain sacks and barrels and that sort of thing. Hay bales, thatch, coal. There's so many, so many props. Various resources. That'll do nicely. Uh, let's put these on this corner over here. I'll probably do for a little bit. So we've got like a nice little dock in the game. <laughs> Freaking awesome. Can we get a big ounce named please? Hell yes. Hell yes we can. Right, let me just uh, employ a couple more people. What do we want? We need a stone mason. Oh, we need to promote. We need to promote. Um... Let's have a transporter. Let's have another miner. Is that everyone? We have got more villagers. No courier. Request an audience. Oh yeah, we'll do that. We'll just get some money from it. It's all good. Um, a big ounce. <laughs> Let's go to our little workers. Right, big ounce. Who can big ounce be? E6. I do like that. Right, here we go. Big ounce is a transporter. Oh, do we? Can we? Can we can't name chickens, can we? We should really name a chicken that. Big ounce. We've got to have a big ounce. Oh, loving memory. Oh, I'm just reminded that there is no more big ounce for anyone that follows that. That probably means absolutely nothing to a lot of you. <laughs> oh, oh, Professor Food, welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. So you're glad the Thornberries are here to help us see us all transition in. Yes, they are. They'll help everyone. They'll help everyone. <laughs> um, right, we need some more names. Need some more names. Have I missed anyone? I'm really sorry if I've missed anyone. I would love a foundation series that's focused on building and detailing. Yes, Ro! Yes, we can do that. And hello! Um, yeah, we could totally do that. I never say no to a live stream. It would be interesting to see how far you can go in this game. Yeah, we could definitely keep this going on the live stream. I'm not <laughs> We're almost two hours in. I'm not going to get that far on it tonight. Like, you can do really cool stuff with this game. So, yeah. I can load into um, a recent city that I've done, if you guys would like to see that quickly, which has a bit more sort of density and stuff in it. Ditto. As soon as I saw how cute this game looks, I had to. Oh, well, I had to see what? Oh, is everyone getting it? Get this game! <laughs> I'd love a house right on the water on the platform on on a platform. Oh no, miss! Now that's like I was asking for something. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, we're gonna want a bridge somewhere here. Okay, we can put the bridge that side and that side, so you can have a little house on a platform right next to it. Yeah, why not? Let's let's do that. 
let's mess around with the terrain. Um, yeah, that's, this is what I was going to say. You can do like terraces. So you can do things like this, which sort of block out the land. So when you're on a hill, it's really useful. Like if I come over here, like this isn't a particularly steep hill. Um, where's a steep hill? Give me a steep hill. Like here, you can make things flat. I'm just by adding these terraces, which is really cool. Um, you can also add in modular blocks as well. Like if you just want like a block of grass, um, that sort of thing. I don't know. How, I don't. I don't know what's going on anymore. Do we need people or not? I'm not sure. I have a couple of them. Right. Um. Uh. Yeah. It's very cool. <laughs> anyway, let's do the dot filings. Yeah. I really love that terrain mod. Great. Great addition. Um. So okay. You want a house on the dot filings? Oh, that one's the wrong way around, isn't it? There we go. Okay. Let's see what kind of house we can get you on the dot filings. <laughs> This could be interesting. Okay, let's do that. Let's have a little ramp up. I'm not sure how neat, big it needs to be to put a house on it. I've never put a house on one of these. <laughs> there we go. Right, let's build that. Uh, let's go to... I'm trying to think which housing mod would be best for this. I'm going to go to the house additions. I'm going to go level one. You can see what kind of house it is we can get on the dock here. I need something small small and suitable outhouse mm. let's try this one so these are random so every oh yes that's a perfect yes that's perfect i'm choosing your house here namus but <laughs> i like this i feel like this is a good little dock house so we can put it on like that Let's build that. Let's go back to our terrain. I'm just going to trim a little bit of this back like that. Oh! Oh, you see, it sinks down into the ground, so we'll be able to see it. The, like, finer details, maybe not there, but there. <laughs> Gorgon's over! Hello! Welcome in! I'd love to see a big city. So, I, uh, uh, because of the updates and the mods that I've got on at the moment, I don't think I can load a massive, massive city for you, but I can load one that's like considerably bigger than this at least. But you have to bear in mind as well, I've been playing it for fun, so not like every inch of it is like perfectly decent. <laughs> oh, could I be a market trader? Yes, Ben, absolutely. Absolutely you can. Let's have a little look who we've got as the market traders. Domenga. Um, if you don't mind, <laughs> uh, who's this market trader? If you don't mind being a, a lady, then you, should, you can be the market trader. We'll call we'll call her Ben. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm good as long as I do not have to live in an outhouse. <laughs> yes, no outhouse for no miss. No, that's okay. I hope there'll be overtime for the stream and it'll not be over in 10 minutes. No, it won't be over in 10 minutes. Um, pretty, like, I'd, I don't know. I can't say how much longer. We'll keep going for a little bit longer. <laughs> we'll keep going for a little bit longer. Oh, Kayla, after your daughter. Oh, that's really sweet. Yes, we can absolutely do that. Let's uh, let's find a Kayla. Oh, that's Claire. That's, <laughs> oh, that's you. That's so funny. Here we go. Transporter. -er. Transporter Kayla. Everyone seems to be a transporter. There we go. Because they're the ones walking around, aren't they? That's why. Kayla. Love that. Can I be a bishop or monk when that's available? Absolutely, yes, Kay. Right, I'll, I'll write that down. You're going to have to remind me, though. <laughs> bishop or monk. I can now join the mum chat gang now. Yes, you can, Ben. <laughs> yes, you can. Could you share your mods list somewhere please yes absolutely Beth so after the stream I'll put a list of all of the mods that I have into the um comments of this uh, live stream so yeah you can come back and check there I'll post it on the discord as well if people want it yeah um yeah right anyway jobs jobs what's going on I forgot how to play the game I got so distra distracted right let's have some more foragers now we can wrap this up we can actually oh here we go most generous offer 25 stone we've already got 100 and we're going to get given 50 fish why thank you very much let's do that and then we need to actually complete that which where is it there it is there it is we still haven't done the adding decorations and promoting a villager right we do need to come on to that <laughs> let's do this okay 
Gnomus's house is being built. Gnomus is happily fishing. We do need to get some storage for the fish, so let's do that as well. Um, yeah, let's get some storage in for the fish. I'm thinking right next to the dock would be the most appropriate place. Let's put it in here. Small granary. Actually, we could have a we could have a big granary. Let's have a big granary down by the docks because that's probably more of an appropriate place for it, and we'll have some higher density housing down here in the long run. So yeah, let's do that, and let's do a little bit more building, and then yeah, I'll open up one of my <laughs> older but recent saves. So it won't, it, yeah, it's not like a massive massive city, but we'll be able to see the sort of thing that you can get to after. I don't know how many hours I would have put into the one that I'm thinking of. Like, not yeah, not a huge amount. Not a huge amount, but with a little bit less chat and a little bit more focus. <laughs> uh, let's go, where do we want the crane? I'm just thinking orientation wise, where would we like this? I'd also like you to be able to walk directly from your house to your workplace. No slacking off, no miss. <laughs> let's, let's place this in here. It's kind of in the middle. Yeah, we'll have the granary in there. Um, we're going to want more people from the granary now too. Let's just have all of these and then let's turn immigration off for a second. I'll just do that. We do need to promote someone too. Yes. I think we promote Miss Wilder. <laughs> can you name chickens too? That I was. Oh, they're gone. We have to wait for the chickens to respawn, unfortunately. We can name buildings, so we can name, like, change a house. Oh yeah, I think actually we've got to change this too. Thornbury's house. Plus, who was it? Plus, who was living with them? Claire, Old Geezer, and Spicy Frank. <laughs> and the Thornbury's house. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, we need to we need to promote someone up here. Um, yeah, so we're going to need a house for them. They're also going to start needing clothes as well. They're going to start needing goods as something to keep them happy. So, uh, yeah, we're going to need to build quite a lot of things in order to promote someone to get the stonemasons to then build our monastery. Um, so we do need a commoner house to start off with. So let's do that. And I'm thinking low density. These are slightly sort of grander. So I'm thinking somewhere maybe around our manor house would probably be a good position for these because they, they look a little bit sort of more town centery as opposed to the style of kind of thatch cottage that we've been building so far. So let's maybe pop... Let's pop a couple of these. Oh, too far. I've started the building over there, haven't I? Of course. <laughs> right, let's go back here. Let's come to this. Let's delete that. And let's start again. So we'll go to house expansion set. That's kind of my favourite one uh, mod for these. I think it has the nicest sort of variation in houses, actually. I do use some of the others for a little bit of variation here and there. I probably will respect this path, actually, out of here. I feel like that's quite nice. So let's have a house in here. We need to clear the trees out as well. And we'll add a couple of houses in just to get us prepared. We could go like that. Or we could sort of angle it back a little bit. Let's turn snapping off angle it back a little bit so it's kind of flowing round the corner you could also merge it into the roof's roof meets a little bit nicer yeah i don't mind that it is blocking off the window on the bottom now we're going to get into the nitty gritty details of fusing buildings together <laughs> let's make sure we haven't halved any windows yeah i quite like that let's do that um we could add on some more windows as well if we need to i don't think we really need to there's enough on there as it is. And on the chimney, they've both got chimneys anyway, so let's build that. And that'll give us a home for our commoner once we promote someone to be a stonemason. So now, I need to move this builder's hut as well. Now we do need to get in sheep <laughs> farming. So yeah, let's do that. Let's go into Aladdin's lamp. And this is the main purpose that I use this for, removing loads and loads of trees. So. Let's come in here, that's a small one. Um, I'm literally going to remove the vast majority of the trees from this area out here. Just to give us a bit of space to work our sheep farm into. So we'll do that. 
And then let's come in and it's in goods production. No, it's not. Is it in food production? Random. Uh, oh yeah, because you can obviously, you can turn them into meat. <laughs> We're not going to do that. But we'll have our little sheep parts. Let's have it back here. And I think we'll have a farmhouse for it as well. Now I'm not going to turn it into milk or meat, which we could do by adding these pens in as well. We're just going to take the wool from them to make the clothes. So let's build that. Um, let's come back into house expansion set and we'll add in a little farmhouse for it. And I'm thinking another high density one because that'll have the most people in it. Yeah, that's kind of cute. So we'll have a farmhouse. Let's have it on this on this corner here and then we'll have this sheep pasture out the side of it I think would be nice Betty is the town gossip Ooh. <laughs> having the first ever waterfront property I wonder how the generation wealth of my ancestors will look like very good I think Nobis <laughs> very good as I know nothing about this village I need some keywords to write a fun fact about it or does someone else want to do this for this game in village well there we go that's that's the question um keywords i'm not sure surf they come in as surfs <laughs> I, don't, I don't know um keyword crazy eyes they've all got crazy eyes and they're kind of cute they're kind of cute i like i like the people but their eyes are very they don't blink ever <laughs> Somewhat. Oh my god, what's happened to my houses? Oh my god! <laughs> well, there we go. I made a lot of people homeless. <laughs> I must have deleted them when I delete. Oh no, that was so stupid. I deleted out those houses, not the one that I was, thought I was trying to build. Well, at least I didn't make the Thornbreeze homeless. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Right, lesson learned. Less panicking on stream. Right, let's... um. <laughs> let's put them back in well actually it was was it this one i can't remember which one we used now i can't remember what the houses look like oh no oh no oh we used these two didn't we yeah it was ones like this yeah yeah okay uh let's this it was a separated one wasn't it over here it's doors on either side now we have to like hope that that sort of randomizes in again <laughs> that's one on either side uh this could work for over here actually yeah we could place this in as our little sheep farmhouse that'll do all right there <laughs> oh god can't believe i deleted them our builders are going to be back at work again i'm not getting the right setup oh there we go that's the one that's the one and then this was right on the end of that fence wasn't it actually no it wasn't was it there's no one living in that side of the house i'm pretty sure it was a split house or something like that we didn't do any decorating around that house which we'll need to come back and do okay there we go we've got the <laughs> it's the lack of eyelids that throws them yeah i could agree with that yeah Betty doesn't have Instagram, but she's always in the town square shouting her lungs out. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Betty is the town gossip. Yeah, I love that. That's such a great, that's such a great shout style. Great spot, Sambo. What does Sambo say? A few accidentally deleted two homes, I think. Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I wish I had seen that before I deleted the homes. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Right. We are also going to with that need um i did get clothing didn't i yeah a tailor's workshop and a weaver hut there we go exactly this so because we're kind of creating a little town center here we've got enough money i think let's go ahead and buy this territory so we can sort of straighten up a little bit this path here so yeah let's buy that let's also come back into aladdin's lamp and remove a whole bunch of trees so I kind of don't really want these in the middle of the street. Doesn't make a huge amount of sense to me. So let's get rid of those. Like that. And then we're going to put our weaver hut. So this is going to take the wool from the sheep and turn it into cloth. 
Um, so we want textile from wool. That's right. Um, and these are kind of cute little houses. So we can, we, uh, when you go through this game, you're going to get loads of kind of production chains like this, which actually function. <laughs> May I just add, like, literally you can see, like, the people, the transporters walking backwards and forwards between the buildings, transporting the goods. And you can even, actually, in the sheep farm, I'm pretty sure it is, you can look inside the building and see them with a pair of scissors cutting the sheep, which is pretty incredible. Um, yeah, very cool. But let's build our weaver hut here. And that needs commoners as well, so we're going to have to promote quite a few people. And then a tailor hut, which is going to turn the cloth into clothes. So what we can kind of do here is start creating a, like, a little bit of a high street out of it. I probably want to give them a tiny bit more breathing room, because these houses kind of go quite well with some of those high density commoner housing. So yeah, we can do that. I think we're going to want another well round here as well. We've only got one so far. I quite like spamming them in all over the place. So let's add another well as kind of a centre point maybe here. In between those two buildings. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we've got commoner housing built. We've got four spaces. So we need one stonemason, two weavers, and that, I'm pretty sure that's one tailor. So we should be fine with the four houses. Um, I don't think we can promote anyone yet, can we? Oh, we can. So let's promote. Let's promote Miss Waldo. Because you <laughs> helped me a lot. <laughs> and there we go. So, so you're now. So yeah, Miss Waldo is now a commoner. Um, and then you are going to be. Let's uh, check in here. You are going to be upgraded to a stonemason, which is the first commoner that we need. I'm missing it. It's up here. There it is. Um, and let's then just make sure you're assigned to there. And there we go. So we're now getting polished stone from that. We do actually here need to... Oh, I forgot to assign the resources to this. So let's get two stone and a polished stone at least on there. Um, just checking, we've still got the old warehouse on here. So we don't really need the stone here, so we can get rid of that. We're not really stocking up that much wooden planks at the moment, so that's not too big a deal. Um, we can store... We do want something for wool, cloth and linen, so we're going to want more storage for that. But let's get these built first and then we can come on to it. <laughs> Our builders have got a lot of stuff waiting. No Mrs. House still isn't built. <laughs> Housing insufficient, yes, I know, I know. And we now need entertainment as well, of course, so we're going to need to build a tavern to entertain all of our uh, villagers. Oh, you're welcome, Miss Waldo. Thank you. Oh, bye, Rose. I missed your comment. Oh, have a great one. Got to run. Bye-bye, Rose. Thank you so much for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. And we'll track the uh, adventures of Rose <laughs> as we go. Bob the Builder! Oh my goodness, why did I not think of that? We 100% have to have Bob the Builder. But they're all women. <laughs> they're all women. Doesn't matter, don't care. Jen's just not a thing in this game. Bob the Builder. hundred percent, yes. Bob the Builder is a builder. And they've always got to stay a builder, so now we can't promote Bob. They're not going to go up to any better jobs. <laughs> They're going to stay as that. Um, oh, Gorgonzola, Fubri, fun facts of the day. Fubri's biggest town gossip is the Munga Betty, Crazy Eyes Thornbury. Among the gossips, she's promoted... Uh, among the gossips, she promoted are such ridiculous things like Ben having a big furnicle in the form of the face of the bishop and the devil being taken away complete houses from Fubri. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, are you calling me the devil? <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Love a fun fact. <laughs> this looks funny. Hello, Yandy. Welcome in. Is is Bobby T a builder too? Yeah, this does look funny, doesn't it? It's, it's, it's a really cute fun game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it justice on this stream, I will add. Like, I'm not, like the, the tiniest little bit of detail that we've done is like their backyard, but we can go a bit nuts with it anyway. <laughs> we can. Is Bobby T a builder too? Um, Betty Thornbury is a builder, actually. <laughs> it should have been Bobby. Jim will fix it. Ooh, Jim will fix it. Um... 
I suppose that's got to be a builder as well, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we want to be honouring uh, Jim, though. <laughs> I love that, though. I love that. Great name. We'll have to wait. We'll have to wait for some more builders to enter the town. I'm going to hop off the PC now. Thanks for the fun stream. I uh, hope to see more foundation. Oh, enjoy the rest of the stream, everyone. Lovely hanging out with you all. Thanks for hanging out, Egg. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I'm just thinking as well, because we have been live for two and a bit hours. Let's, uh, I know this house still isn't, but we're still waiting for the houses that I deleted to be built. <laughs> um, let's just quickly save this. Let's do it as a new save game. Fubery. There we go. It's already got a name. Okay, and I'll load into something um, I was doing recently. Oh, yeah, you've got to ignore my names. <laughs> We're going to have to hide the names. Oh, Manny the Handy Manny as well. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, yes. Um, you want to go into this one? Uh, I, I start loads of games. Right, let's go, let's go into this one. I think this is the largest. It's not the most detailed, though, I will fully admit, because I'm just building out a town and I was going to detail it later. <laughs> I'm still trying to play the game. There's elements of it. <laughs> um, yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah, this is a slightly larger town. Like, it's not massive, because um, a lot of the massive ones I was working on a while ago, and there's been a few updates, so it, yeah, it doesn't work. This monastery is completely undetailed, <laughs> but, yeah, you can get pretty grand, like, with some of the monastery buildings. I was going to add in a cloisters in here and move all the garden stuff into the centre of the cloisters. This was my longer-term plan, which I haven't got around to finishing yet. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see the monastery basis from there. I'm building a massive fountain out here. We've got the market going. We also like, I really like these, like these houses here. Um, kind of, yeah, turn them into little row houses. They've got these little archways through that the villagers walk through. And then back here, I've got things like a tannery, a builder's workshop, a goat farm even, just hidden out the back. Again, there's like a lot of detail missing. But there are some cute aspects to it, like this little street here. Let's actually turn off the UI. Um, uh, let's press play as well so we can see them all walking around. Um, yeah, we've got this like little marketplace on the waterfront here. Some storage next to it. Um, I hadn't used the piers actually at this point. That was a very recent addition of mine, <laughs> so they've not been used. But yeah, you can come up with a little high street here, which is kind of cute. We've got a little duck pond out the back, um, fenced off area around trees, a lot of chicken farm around these houses. We've got a vegetable farms, some more chicken farms in the middle. Um, yeah, that's what the vegetable farms are like, which is kind of cute, very nice, these ones. Got some washing outside the weaver hut, berry farm over here. <laughs> Oh, we've got a whole mining village going on up this side, which is kind of cool. So this is what it's like when you're mining marble and gold out here. It's quite nice. Um, yeah, this definitely isn't the most <laughs> nice detail. We've got a little pig farm out here and some cattle in the back with a hay field. Farming stuff going on there. I'm trying to remember what the nice bits of this were. But yeah, this is cute. This little churchyard's cute with the well outside. I quite like this. Nice little graveyard detailing. <laughs> um, yeah, I do like the berry farms. This whole start bit is kind of nice. We've got the stonemason in here as well, like tucked into that corner. Um, the wood camp, I always do these. Like I literally do the same thing. Like I like having a foresters and a wood camp working on the same area. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. Um, oh, the builder's workshop attached to the back of the manor house, which I quite like that effect too little weaver's hearts yeah the whole thing is lots of fencing around the place to direct the people where you want them to go so that that's what i do a lot like you'll see random bits of fencing just so i can create paths where i want them to um was this the one with the steep hill no it wasn't let's try to remember which tile that was um oh we've got a tavern over here as well this is our lovely tavern uh and out the back we do have a berry farm because we're making berry brew <laughs> Oh, Pink Fox is also cute. Thank you. Welcome in, Pink Fox. Yes, yeah, it's a very cute little game. Like, it's super fun just for, like, a really relaxing, chill time. But you can go nuts with the detailing. Like, you can get really, like, absorbed in it. This is not my finest world. <laughs> but it's just a bigger tile that I can actually show you guys. Yeah. But it's kind of cute. It needs a lot of work. But there we go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that was a bit of uh, foundation for you. <laughs> 
thank you so much for like so many of you hanging out on a sunday night foundation stream i really greatly appreciate it um yeah like i said like once the stream's done please do drop a comment let me know like if you want to see more streams on foundation if you want to see a series in it um a more like detailed carefully <laughs> curated series than by like scatty streams and sometimes um yeah let me know because i super love this game and i more than happily play it loads more to produce content on it because like yeah it's my my guilty pleasure um i started playing it quite a few years ago when it was completely different to this and took it up more recently um with a whole bunch of new mods and yeah it's awesome but like, i can't recommend it enough if you just want like a really nice chill city builder time a medieval city builder definitely get it worth a look are the surf houses also placed or did you let them spawn randomly um some of these were spawned i think but a lot of them were placed like all, all of the street ones are definitely placed um i mean they're part of the housing pack um because some of these are surf houses so like these ones are surf houses uh i'm not sure if these ones are actually can't remember now yeah but some of these were placed and some of them were, were manual i think all of these ones are pretty much placed can't see any with the little like default fences that they get you know when they spawn in so yeah a lot of them were placed i wanted it to kind of look a little bit crazy like it was manual like there is something to be said with the drawing the residential area and they just spawn in because it's kind of organic and it's quite nice and you can then sort of play the game to work around that mechanic so I've enjoyed doing that for a very long time. It's only more recently that I started plopping them all in. But I was like, oh my god, thank god that they're not all spawning on top of each other. Oh, Art says do a series. Oh, thank you. Well, yeah, we could try and do a series. <laughs> I'm glad you guys have enjoyed this. Foundation seems so fun. Stream is so fun. We'd love to see a series and more live streams on it. Oh, yay. Okay, great. Thank you, Katie. We'd love this to be a series. Yes, Miss Waldo. Wait for the series of streams. A series of streams. I like that. Yes, Professor. Yes. Maybe digging up a lot of different days. I, you, I'm not the most original when it comes to like names. It was because I started creating. So I did, I did Plopperton. I did New Plopperton and Plopperton the second or something, fairly recently when I started like plopping in the houses and I just couldn't think of a name. So like. <laughs> You also have a pack of real trees that are real cool. Yes, is that the um uh that is I th have I got I don't know if I've got that mod on this save now. No, I don't. No, I don't. Um yeah, I, I had that actually on the other one. If I lay back into that. Let's say back into February. Um Yeah, I had that. Those trees are really good. I'll show you those, yeah. I totally agree. Yeah. Yes, please, more foundations, that's for sure. Too. Thank you. Do a poll. Do a poll. We could do a poll. I'll do a poll on the channel rather than on the stream. Although that will like <laughs> that'll flop because it'll be all the other thirty thousand people that <laughs> want to see Foundation. But I don't care. I just want to have fun. I, I want you guys to have fun. That's 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 uh that's what I care about. Um yeah, the cool trees. I, I'm pretty sure I've got the mod on here. Um. Where, 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 uh, where? I can't remember where it was now. Maybe I took it off. No, I didn't take it off because the forester had it. Is it monuments? I actually genuinely can't remember where it is now. But yeah, I know the one you mean. If I don't have it on this save, I know the one you mean. And the trees actually look like so much more high def and really real. Like it's super cool, super cool. I can see you make something amazing like you do in any builder game. Oh, thank you, Eric. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I've done, I've have done some pretty cool stuff in this over the years, but I was, yeah, I would say Plopito was my finest work, but that was just the first one that I thought of. <laughs> I can show you. <laughs> yeah. Feels kind of how to train your dragon. This game, yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah, medieval times. I have got actually do you know what this is almost going it's a shame um Paul isn't here. It's almost going back to the full house stream. I've actually only managed four houses on this stream because the others haven't built <laughs> and i deleted two so there we go <laughs> if anyone remembers that you pass it's where deco is oh is it i just completely miss it fancy nature pack oh my god yes i did thank you <laughs> i thought that was like the the fancy garden monument but of course we haven't unlocked that yet yeah look at these trees yeah look at these trees 
so much nicer. Hang on, let me spawn them in. Or just, oh, here we go, we've got maple as well. Let's just build those. Um, oh, no, wrong button. There we go. Yeah, these trees look so much better. So much better. Um, I mean, they're still like, they're not perfect, but look, they've even got like, the little vines on the leaves. Like, super cool. Better than some of the trees in Cities 1. <laughs> like, tree, green tree number 2, whatever it is. <laughs> Yes, but yeah, like love these. Absolutely love these. These had a really nice dynamic, particularly the like sort of an autumnal colour ones. Really like that. Uh, you're so sweet. Oh, thank you, Renee. Isn't Timberborn more like Minecraft visual wise? I find, yeah, so I've never played Timberborn, I'll be honest, but like I find it kind of like when I watch videos on it. I don't feel like a game I'd enjoy. But then recently, well, like last year, whenever it was, um, uh, Project Zomboid, which I know is another one um, Egg is into, I'm absolutely obsessed with that as well, like when I first saw it I thought no I won't enjoy that because the graphics looks pretty like rubbishy but oh my god, <laughs> it's such a good game, so I probably should give Timberborn a try, I probably misjudged it fairly I just don't know if I could get over the like beavers built in a village honestly, like I'm happy with the, the guys who don't blink and have no eyelids but beavers, I'm not sure I'm not sure <laughs> Yeah, the trees look really good. And that's only that's only a couple of them, obviously. Like there's a whole massive load of trees in that pack. Yeah. Right, anyway. <laughs> I'm wittering on. I'm wittering on. Um yeah, thank you again all so much for like joining the stream. If you have enjoyed it, please do hit that like button. If you're watching the mod back and you've made it this far, well done. Thank you. Leave me a comment. Tell me you've made it to the end. I want to I want to know if anyone actually watches the entire VOD back. Um, that'd be really great. And yeah, thank you. I will we'll do a poll and see if you want more live streams or series or something. Like, I'd love to do more foundation content. It's been really fun just, like, hanging out and chilling. No stress. Chill City Builder tonight. So, yeah, really greatly appreciate all of you turning up. Um, Man of Lords, yes, is really coming soon. Yes, yeah. Next stream, Timberborn. Well, we could do like a completely blind playthrough of Timberborn if you want. Like, I've literally never played it before. <laughs> um, so I could literally open the game for the first time on stream with you, which could be a complete disaster. I'm not sure if I'll actually have the guts to do that, but there's a potential possibility in that, I suppose. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> there we go one farm stream yeah exactly Franklin it actually was do you know what I started off this stream and I was like we're gonna have loads of farms we actually haven't we've had one chicken farm <laughs> and a berry farm that's it oh shameful I'm sorry we'll do more we'll do more if we stream it again or if we do a series but yeah just wanted to share my love of this game with you all so yeah let's let's call the stream there <laughs> like yeah thank you again let's thank the patrons of course bradders i'm gonna give you an actual vocal shout out because oh my god i'm so sorry for missing you off the patreon list for like a good well over a month now like i i feel terrible i don't know how i've managed that so massive shout out to bradders there's so much love to you you're back on the patreon list thank you thank you so much um that actually could be fun what tim blind tim <laughs> i don't know we'll see we'll see anyway yes everybody enjoy the rest of your sunday um yeah let's have a shout out to a few people scope franklin katie claire miss waldo sk samborg organzola star franklin bat renee um oh my goodness eric the shorty dj <laughs> so many of you art yes thank you thank you beth yes thank you karina exit egg um uh no miss everyone who was here thank you so much um really appreciate it enjoy the rest of your sunday and i'll um i'll catch you again soon don't forget to leave a comment on the vod 